All right. That was good. Slot two now. I need to go back and play some of that. I haven't played Splatoon 2 in a long time. So come back to play a lot of it. <laughs> Ooh. as we get set for the Splatoon 2 World Championship 2019. Huh. Four of the finest ink squads from hey. across the world will be partaking. Thanks for hosting the prof. I'm Jordan Kent, your Spray by Spray host, and we have two of the Splatoon, leaders though. of the Pearl and Marina fan club, Nine and Milano. Welcome to the big stage here. And Nine, as we get set for this action, we've had a chance to see this wonderful Splatoon hmm. community grow throughout the years, but there's some folks that are going to get the their first Splatoon. Splatoon. Haven't played they a long time. Championship here. Tell us a little bit more about why Splatoon 2 is so unique as a game itself. Unique is the perfect word. This is a fast-paced, multiplayer, objective-based shooter. But mm. unlike some other games, there's a mechanic called Ink or Turf. Putting yeah. them on the ground is going to allow you to move around. It's going to allow you to hide. All sorts of interesting things that we'll go into more detail as the games go. Well, as always, we have to have rules. We can't just be running around here all willy-nilly. Huh. So let's take a look at the tournament rules yeah. for the Splatoon 2 World Championships 2019. Teams will play two matches in a winning season bracket. After play, the teams will be ranked by win-loss record. will be ranked by their win-loss record. Then we move on to elimination mode, our semifinals. Best of five, you see those ranked modes. Don't worry, we won't leave you in the dark. We'll explain those modes as we approach them. And then the finals, best of seven. You see all the ranked modes <laughs> there. We will look to crown if necessary. at the end of this in the Splatoon 2 World Championship all right. 19. And Milana, well, these too, teams, too. if you want to talk about high level, these teams are the personification of that. What kind of strategy will we see from these high-level teams? Well, Jordan, these teams are going to have to play at the top of their game. They're going to have mm. to communicate effectively with each other. They're going to have to play and as a team like they've never played before. They really need to bring their all because they are competing against the it best of the like... best in the world. And you mentioned that magic word communication. It's important in all relationships in life, but oh. also... I didn't have the light on. What well, turn it on now. Be it turned on a while ago. As as each time they take on a match. Well, the game moves entirely too quickly for one person to see everything. And also, as we mentioned, you can hide in this game. So it's all the more important that everyone Hi. is pitching yeah. in. If you see somebody coming from the left, maybe call out someone's coming from the left. If you're the backliner who's sitting back, identify where all of them are. It's the most important facet of an already hmm. hard game. As we said, four of the finest teams from across the globe. Let's go ahead and take an early look at a couple of our teams that will be competing in this year's Splatoon 2 World Championship 2019. Hmm. You two boys. Hmm. That's really like that Tona. Yeah. Dynamon. Sounds like a Pokemon, almost. That, their names. Japanese, Japan, Lime Soda. I think I remember these teams actually for real. Shockwave, Yoshiko, mm. and Geo. Let's see. Trent, Team Ands, Lime Soda against each other. There you what have it, Anza, Australia. Soda, okay, representing really. Australia, New Zealand, and the GG oh. boys from Japan. Let's start New with Zealand, Soda Australia. And they had quite That's what journey. it is. Lime Soda from Australia, New Zealand, to get here to these championships. Tell us a little bit more about that story. So Lime Soda is a team that maybe has gone a little bit unnoticed in the international scene up until their 4-5 reverse team against EA one of the top teams in the Australia, New Zealand region. 
They have fought hard right. to be here, and right. they have. That's all right. They deserve their place here, so I'm really looking forward to. Seeing I thought it was going to be over before Very this. Very exciting action there, but nine. We would be remiss to mention the GG boys, your defending champions, led by four of the finest individual players that mm -hmm. have now collectively joined forces. Who won last time? Team. What is needed from them if they want to hoist up this platoon Sterling Squid once again this year? Well, they're going to have to be better than they were last year. And I know it huh. sounds a little bit weird, right? They won last year, but everyone saw what that was. They are trying to beat what GG Boys was last year. The most important thing for them is, I think, identifying what weapons they want to play because I know they've been in a bit of a flux recently, and you have to identify what's best. And Nine, we were talking about that as we were partaking in some physical fitness at the gym this morning, trying huh. to stay healthy about how... This is probably one of the most talented championship setups we've ever seen. We've casted a couple of these championships. These four Soon teams the are stacked, ones. They are stacked. And I think if you watched last year's Splatoon 2 World Championships, I'll go out on a limb yeah. and say that every single one of these teams is better mm. than what was representing them last year. And it's again because the game is so last quickly. one. If you stay stacked, mm. you are going to get left behind. This should be a lot of fun. From the well, then again, I the barely rem remember it, so let's actually. let's down the strategy with Turf War. Mm. Obviously, it says you've got to ink as much Turf as possible, but it's so much more than that. Definitely. The, the game isn't really played the same throughout that whole um, three-minute segment. You have to really focus on getting that middle ground. You want to you wanna take, take control of the map. You want to Turf as much as you can, and you want to make sure you don't die. It sounds kind of obvious, but you... You don't want to be left in a 3v4 situation. And you mentioned getting splatted. It seems like for the first half of Turf War, there is an emphasis on splats. At least that's what we heard when talking to the GG boys. Definitely. We, by taking out some of the opponents, you are able to make those pushes into their enemy base. You're able to control that Turf for a longer period hmm. of time. And nine, as we say, when the popcorn's finally popping in the final 30 seconds of Turf huh. War, what's the most important popcorn. thing you have to keep in mind? Hold the line. Hold your position. Set up. And whatever you do, do not let yourself be sent back to spawn. It is more important that you play cautiously and hold the ground that you've yourself die. over the first few minutes of play. And Nine, we oftentimes talk about we team composition and roles. Because obviously yeah. all four players on a team aren't going to just go out there and do the same thing. You have to work together, you have to talk together, but they have different jobs on the team. They do, and the most common ones that you're going to hear us talk about are frontline, midline, and backline. And there are a lot of weapons in Splatoon, mm. and a lot of them do different things. But in general, think of the frontliners as the playmakers, the ones who go up and get personal with the opponent. The midliners tend to be the supportive players. They're going to paint the map a little bit more. They're going to be up assisting in the backliner. That's the anchor, and it's going to hold the ship down. We're just a mm. couple minutes away of getting started mm. with our mm. ink pools. You've got the GG boys, the defending champions from Japan, taking on Lime Soda, a strong team yeah. from Australia, New Zealand. And we're going to be calling out specials quite a bit during these matches here, Milana. But with the specials, there's a strategy that these teams use as far as when they want to use them. Definitely. We want to we wanna see coordinated specials. You don't want to use your special by yourself because there's power in numbers. And in this case, there's mm, exponentiated power in numbers. Now. And you also look at the advantage of Feels like it's been longer than one. three hours. We oftentimes have this conversation. Since I've been streaming. When I play together, I'm oftentimes leaving you in that one position because I get splatted. <laughs> What's the advantage of having the cephalopod advantage, as we like to say, on the map? Well, Milana just said exponential advantage with putting two specials together. It is exactly the same here. If you can team up on someone, you're going to have a much easier time of taking that person out and moving up. And it's what these teams are going to be shooting for here. They know that if they can pincer somebody, if they can get some flanks, that's going to be how they get a very quick splat and move on to the next objective. Like the pincer somebody right there as well, too. Hopefully they can scyther their way to the goal here. And you take a look at the coin toss that we had earlier on, and it looks like Lime Soda won the coin toss. They're going to choose Manta Maria for our first stage, and a level you're obviously very familiar with here, Nine. Manta Maria, what are some things you have to keep in mind on this map? Well, I think it's actually mm. my favorite map in the game, and I think it's because a lot of different weapons can succeed there. The reason that I think they chose so this, as you see right there, Yoshiko this game. is a backline specialist. She is going to be moving mm. around the top mid area of the map where there's grading. Going to be able to influence a lot there with the long range weapons, and the GG boys don't have a dedicated backliner. I'm thinking that's why they went there. And that's a very good point. You look at all the different weapons, and obviously what's interesting about the so-called meta right now with Splatoon 2 mod is that yes, so many weapons crazy. are viable in play right now. Definitely. We, ha we have some sort of... Um, people think a certain way about certain weapons, but I find that in competitive play, it's been more 
varied than ever before mm. because of how the meta is shaped. And we had that conversation with GG Boys here, Nine, about how they feel ever since the updates from last year. You mentioned a different GG Boys this time around in 2019. They feel long range oh, weapons gosh. have much more of a huh? higher success rate this time around. That's so they've had to change so their composition a little bit. They have, and it's one of the reasons earlier that I yeah. said that they're going to need to find the composition that works for them. Because as we, we said, they say don't have a dedicated again. backliner like some of these other teams. Last year we saw two frontliners, sometimes three frontliners. That's not going to cut it this time. You know that they know what's best, they just have to identify it. What's great about Lyra Soda Milano is that people talk to them all week long. And this is a team that's very confident, a very young team. Team and they know that because of the way that they got here, as you mentioned, the dramatics in their qualifier, they've got nothing to lose here. They feel like they can hang with anybody. The, the momentum that they got from that reverse sweep, I think definitely can also carry over to the world championship. So don't count them out yet, even We're though GG Boys was our last year's champion. They're just it talking about the matches. Anything can happen. It's like, when are they going to begin? Very strong squads here. Yes, they're all just trying to get started. Away from getting things rolling here and Looking at some of the individuals for GG Boys, you know my heart's with Yamamichi here, not Tell us about some of the other players on your squad, boys, certainly. Basically. What I'm going to be keeping my eye on is Etna. Etna calls himself the best flex player in the world. And I know that seems flex like player, a big huh? claim to make, but he's one of the few that can make it. A flex player is someone who can switch between a number of different weapons on the fly. Dynamon, of course, plays probably the closest thing they have to a backline role or an anchor. And then Taiji going to be on the front lines opening things up mm. as well. And that's a good point you bring up, the flex player, because GG boys, they don't have that traditional backliner, that safety valve that's going to make sure that you can always have somebody to super jump to. They like to play with two midliners that play that flex position. Very aggressive. However, if you can splat them, you've got a hole in their defense. I think that's mm. what they're going to have to look at, and I think that's where yeah. Yoshiko can kind of influence the map. The one thing that can really yeah, shut down a midliner awesome. is a backliner. Longer reigns, shut them down from there, get yourself a 4v3 and move in from there. And it's... you were talking about the advantage and the exponential advantage. We're going to use that term push quite a bit here. Push. Push. down for us a little bit more, Milana, when we talk push. about teams making push. pushes during these push. So when we talk about pushes, we, we're talking about teams push moving apart. up as one unit into uh, the oh, enemy spawn oh, or into the enemy side of the map and by doing that they can Ooh. have more turf more more area to maneuver and it keeps the enemies turf back four. and kind of yeah. <laughs> so we're working on a controller issue right now but what's great here is oh, I can really two that's, two that's oh, the yeah, whole problem well, here nine, here's controller what's issue dang the foundation of every that's why we haven't course. started yet there are other objectives later on Darn. in the semifinals and the finals but it all comes down to controlling turf. Why is that so important? Well, first of all, oh, you're tired of hearing a I'm confused now. I apologize in advance for that. But it <laughs> is it the fundamental game controller or like... Every single mode in this game, including the rank modes, is built on. As we said earlier, you move about the map with extra turf on the ground. It's how you build your specials that we've talked about that can turn a game in a blink of an eye. And it all starts with the fundamentals and the teachings that you get from this mode right here. And Milana, we continue to talk about specials. And when you look at, look at Turf War, what are some specials that come to mind for you as mm. far as things that will really help out teams, maybe in that last 30 seconds as well, too, when we see the tide of a match really turn? As for Turf War, I think we might see some specials that, you know, cover Missiles. more turf. So things maybe like bubbles. Um, I might bubbles. expect to see some missiles on the side of GG Boys. Uh, mm. By using missiles, it can really move the backliner on the opponent's side away and, you know, kind of put them out of position. So. That's such a good point. The Tenta Missiles 9, we've there. been obviously on the suffering end of those before <laughs> where you have to scatter like mice when the light turns on. And that is a very powerful tool, especially in turf war, if you're really looking to dislodge the opponent, but also cover some turf. And it's remarkable how quickly Tenta Missiles have come up and really become a force. For the longest time, they were the special that you didn't want. You would choose to not play a weapon if it had that as its special. But recently, because of buffs to certain weapons, people have gotten better with it, and they've started to see the utility. It's a very quick way to, as Milan mm. put it, pressure the back line of the enemy team and push them back. And again, we've talked about it. Yoshiko is going to be their biggest obstacle. Yoshiko. I think this will be a good pick. About 30 seconds away as we get set for our opening match in the ink pools of the Splatoon 2 World Championship 2019. We've got our defending champions, the GG Boys, trying to take on the up-and-coming Lime Soda from Australia, New Zealand. Let's see if they can go. shake things up here as we get set. The right. crowd's been fantastic, by the it's way. They started. waited until last night. Yes. When we were handing out donuts earlier, the first five people in line that I saw people. were all Splatoon fans. They had signs, they had everything, and their waiting is about to be Triple rewarded as we get started.
All right, let's get it cracking here. Turn four, Santa Maria, GG boys oh, taking on Lime Soda from Australia. New Zealand will go ahead and let you know what color each team will be as we yellow. get rolling here. Looks like Australia and New Zealand going to be in that neon yellow. Mm -hmm. GG boys in that purple, purple and nine. Tell us about the loadouts we're seeing early on. Well, we said earlier that they didn't have a dedicated backliner, but it looks like the GG boys have opted to bring huh. two. That there at the top, Dynamon and the custom Explosher and Yamamichi using the custom oh. gas well, they're both very strong backline weapons. I think they wanted to get the jump on this. And you take a look at the oh. large mast in the middle of this map here, nine. He's the leader. That's going to be a pivotal point to control from Korea. It is. That's the most important part, and that's why we said the backline is going to move up there. But the easiest way is to just not let them get there. Okay. Look how far Taiji and Etna are pushed up. Etna winning a 1v1 despite being in a bad position. And look how far they're pushed up. They have no fear at this point. 4-2 oh, on the field for the GG boys. And this is what you talked about, Milana. When oh, you've got oh, the numbers oh, advantage, damn. you want to push it. Yeah, so the GG boys Jeez. did not miss a beat. Once they took those uh, members of Lime Soda out, they oh. were all over it. <laughs> Will with the slaughter up top, hops into the baller, not going to oh. get anybody there, but spreads a Didn't little bit of ink. Let's take a look at it. Etna, up in the middle of a 2v1. Oh. That's what we talk about, Jeez. guys. If Lime Soda is going to create upset, uh -oh. they've got to find no. the situation. They did, and it was Street great. They're getting a little bit too aggressive. That's sometimes the punishment that oh. happens. But look at this, a never-ending stream of pressure. As Tiny yeah. can see the push up the snipe area. Will actually huh. got the punishment there as what? well. So it looks Damn like it's Billy is strong I as expected. Yeah, it looks like Big it. shout out to Zar on the spectator cam doing a fine job following all of this action here. So we'll get a good look at everything that takes place. Will trying to climb up top. Here's Yoshiko using huh. the ball points flatling right now, creating a little bit more pressure. And you start to see Ooh. Lime Soda here, Nine, really start to push into the GG Boy territory. Oh. Oh, what incredible there by Edson to come up and that's yeah. another reason why you want to stay oh. together well the people are watching your buddy you can move up and get a splat there oh. as well but Geo getting a crucial splat at the uh. center of the map there he needs to hold this spot oh, oh. he's roaching there oh, a no. little bit too much I would have liked to have seen him hold that spot Jeez. Yamamichi meanwhile trying to get to the mast here you see look at the map a lot of oh. yellow on the map here in Lime uh -oh. Soda applying some pressure as we get to the final minute here Milano Did it? it's and live remember yellow remember what we said it really comes uh. down to that last 30 seconds so yeah. even though it seems like Perfect. it is Going in favor of Lime Soda really could still be any Inkjet being deployed by the GG boys. Lime Soda trying to stay alive. Tai Chi trying to get a couple more Ooh. splats. Gets Geo right there. Has his sights on Yoshiko. Yoshiko huh? trying to run back, but huge splat by Yamamichi 9. And that might be the splat that decides it here. You're going to see that the GG boys are going to set themselves up Ooh. all together here to try to hold this one position. They know that's where the push is coming from. If they hold this spot, it's their game. Tai Chi and the GG boy trying oh, to create a bottleneck oh, right oh, now for Lime Soda. Yamamichi hanging back oh, with that sting right oh, 20 seconds left. This is a moment, as we said. Yoshiko and Lime Soda trying to break through the defenses oh. of the GG boys, oh. trying to give themselves Ouch. a chance here. Ten oh, seconds left, oh. trying to stay alive. This is where it matters. Oh, boy. Yeah. The for GG boys, the yeah. We look like it. Oh, jeez. Oh. Man. Wow. Yo. Lime got him. Furry little pause. It's gonna go to so, GG boys. Wow, though. look at that. That was a much different score than I thought it was going huh. to be. Not only did the GG boys held on, they did it by around close. 200 points. I Looks thought like that they were gonna lose there. Gonna lose there. Was going to do it. And Milana, we saw yeah. Yoshiko and Lime Soda wow. really put up quite the effort right. at the end, but it seemed like the GG boys really yeah, dominated the, the final 30 seconds, and that's what turned the tide. Um, I actually think it turned the tide just a little bit before because they were really. Yeah. Um, I think Lime Soda got caught up a little bit with the aggression that GG Boys had, and they kind of pushed a little bit too far, um, like I think Nine was saying during the match. So I think that's uh, kind of what turned uh, the tide even before those looks like it. That's what's so exciting about Turf War Nine because it's just a couple of splats back and forth, and as we saw, Lime Soda had quite the advantage. It's about a minute and a half back left, and forth a little bit. Looks like Lime kind of had the whole field the most. And I think mm. that the way that the GG boys attacked those last 30 seconds, they said, okay, even if we drop but a then in the GG last still seconds, won, though. Built such an advantage that they cannot Oof. possibly make uh. a comeback, and that ended up being a Let's go ahead and take a look at the introduction as we get set for Game 2 here at the Purple Splatoon 2 World Championship 2019. It's like, man. Alright, now it's a live road. Alright. I don't know if I said that right. What the sorry? Where's the opposing? That's Europe. Okay. 
two girl. F2 win. Oh, for the win. I get it. Right. Kill. And sack. Blue. What? Couldn't say that. 2D. So, yeah. U versus North America. Mm hmm. Well, that was our first look at Alliance Pro right. representing Team Europe. See how these guys do. Team North America, FT Win, and Milana. Let's start with Alliance Rogue, a very strong team from Ooh, Europe. Team like some team of them. From, yeah, right. North so America, I United States. That they are gonna be That's our team. To be with. They well, are here in America. Two of the uh, team Olive and Kraken Paradise. Uh, and if you put two of the top teams yeah. together, you only know what kind of havoc they can wreak. <laughs> so they are teaming up, obviously, to try and win the championship. But nine, North America, FT wins. Some new faces on that end, mm. obviously, but also some familiar foes as, as well. And what do you like about them? Because you've been very, very impressed with them. I have. If if Alliance oh, Rogue has is it? Oh, the super right. team, the original super team, oh, was no, was they came about together something else. for the sole purpose of beating oh, Central Super X when they were at their heyday, and you know what? They oh. did it. The first tournament they came in, they won the whole thing over Team Olive, over Kraken Paradise, over Set to Destroy X, without dropping a single game. When they are at mm. their best, there is nobody who can beat them. And what makes them so good as far as, is it their composition or the different roles that they have? What are you really looking for when you see them take on the map? When they get momentum, there's nothing that can stop them. They have such incredible individual skill. When they are working together and getting that ball rolling, the push that we talked about earlier, you can't mm. stop it. They are just too good individually. As we said, there will be a coin flip to see which team will decide what map they start on. We saw Lime Soda go with Manta Maria. They were unable to get the victory as the GG boys claim the first title. These are the ink pools. We'll figure out our seating, one through four, and then we'll see the teams, one versus four, two versus three, as we get set for the semifinals. And going back to the strategy and the specials, we saw a lot of inkjet, actually, by the GG boys in that first matchup. What do you like about that special, Milana? It's actually kind of fallen out of grace in the competitive world. It's it's pretty easy to snipe out of the air, but I do think mm. that it requires a lot of skill, a lot of mechanical practice to be able to utilize it well. So I think it's a good special for GG boys, just because they're so hardworking. <laughs> <laughs> and now right. Alliance Rogue representing Team Europe, they win the coin toss. They decide to go with the Black Belly Skate Park. So as you strap on your knee oh. pads and helmet, what do you like about that map? Well, they have two players that are some of the best frontliners in the world. That's going to be Urza and Kiver. They are both amazing mm -hmm. at what they do. And Black Billy Skate Park, a very up close and personal map where the aggressor really has a lot mm. of angles to play around. I'm thinking that's why they went there. Wait, what about the middle of this map? Really. There's an area that we're very familiar with. Still trying like to get ready. To contain and control mid is very yeah. It is. That very center area is where you want to put your backliner or your midliner. Mm. You can see the opponent spawn from there, so you can call out exactly where they're mounting their pushback in from. But if you're up there, you can stop it and you can be preemptive. And going back to some of the fundamentals of Turf War here, Milana, it seems like getting those splats and being able to get somewhat of a push early on so you're in an advantageous spot in that final minute. Definitely. So you want to put yourself in an advantageous spot as much as you can, although that doesn't really guarantee victory, but it it's a good, it's a better chance. <laughs> All right, we're getting rolling here. We've got FT right, Win go. taking on Alliance Rogue here in our yeah. Eight Pools matchup. Turf War on Black Belly <laughs> Skate it. Park. We'll Black take Belly. a look at the loadouts and composition. And our good oh, friend Nine will tell us what he's seeing here shortly. You go ahead and you see Alliance Rogue in the oh, pink. Oh, and oh. FT Win in the blue. What are you seeing here, Nine? Well, I see oh. Ice on the splatter scope. And Ice might be the most important person in this oh. entire tournament. When he is playing his back line at the level that he can play it, he is one of the finest in the world right here. He's going to be going up to oh. the top that we talked about there. On the other side, Soren on that back line playing the custom oh. splasher. We saw oh. Dynamon show what that could do earlier. Ice trying to free oh. the Lions Rogue in their tracks early on. So far, 20 seconds in. Neither team having a major oh. advantage, but there's one splat. One splat on each side. 3-2 on the map. Win, but you see a couple of specials ready to go for Alliance Rogue here, Milana. Yeah, so we see, uh, on both out. sides, we actually see a Neo Splash-O-Matic, which has oh. a Bomb Rush special. Very good for covering her. Oh. 
And right now, the action continues to wage back and forth. 250 oh, left for three on the map. Advantage Alliance Grove. Kibber right now it's trying like to take the higher ground floor. through the Looks five. Like it, it, turf, but already, Kibber getting to the top of that hill. Yeah, and you saw Jeez. the only person actually left up was Ice, who had to retreat oh, all the way back. And right now, I think that both sides are trying to feel one another out. You've seen they've traded huh. some splats here. They've thrown some specials there. They both know that that last minute is where they need to be perfect. So much can happen in turf. Oh, things gosh. can change so quickly. Shaq, meanwhile, Slender back and forth, just being careful and precarious as far as what he's going to go ahead and ink. You see that point sensor <laughs> coming down, but here oh. comes Ice on that Stingray, Milana. Ice is one of Ooh. North America's best backliners, so his Stingray well. is definitely not to be uh, at. <laughs> 130 left in this match. 4-2 on the map. Alliance broke nine. Here comes one of those pushes. That is, and if 2D can get this pick onto Urza, that's going to be big, but so slippery getting away. 2D now finding himself in the middle of three people. Sorry, bud, you're not getting out of that one. Gray doing a fine job huh. using the undulation of the map to avoid the baller exploding. Here's a look right now. Alliance Rogue with a sizable advantage, but plenty of time left here, Milana. What do you want to see from FT win if they want to turn the tide? We definitely need to see them coordinate. We need to coordinate those specials. We need to, like we talked about, the specials coming out together oh. will definitely make the, that push back much more bearable. Oh, One boy. minute left. 4 3 on the field. FT win. They're trying to go ahead and mount the push here. Alliance Rogue has been very strong. Oh. Kimber trying to avoid. No, trouble, but that no, doesn't look good got for him. Here, I think that Isis Stingray oh, actually took two people out and took them out. wonder why they were sitting back so far. It's because they wanted to have two specials oh. up going into that lack minute. What? As we see some bumper <laughs> balls <laughs> being played here. Both and like what I love the, the fact that Kill is already going to try to help it. They have them pushed oh, back, geez. but they can't go down with 30 seconds left. Baller on baller crime right there. Kiver trying to back up. We've got 25 seconds left to Milana. This is oh, when FT win has got the special advantage. you got to deploy it. Definitely. You want to see those... That push. Um, they may be waiting until the very last second so that the enemy team okay, can't cover the, their turf, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. It looks like it's turning the oh, other, yeah. the other time. The time is coming. Empty win with a bit of an advantage. Looks like a hot thing is going to win. Slash by 2D at the bottom of your screen. Gray tried to get behind down. the fences. Let's see if Gray was able to do enough hey. work right there in nine and slip behind the defenses of Empty win. You see some blocks yeah. of pink. Oh. That might be it. Let's see what our friendly feline say. Oh, oh, and that is empty win with the first yeah, victory. I thought that was going to happen. <laughs> and once again, it looked like they were down early on, able to turn things around to get the victory done. There is no other more important than to be able to get them out there. I did like that with a minute left. Oh, that's a good follow. That's a good follow. You get two people coming out at a time. It means they can't yeah. coordinate, and that means you have a much easier oh, sure. time slowing them down. Yeah. And that's such a good point. Let's build hey. on that, Milana, Thanks because a follow. lot of times when you so, are in a disadvantage yeah, state, Nintendo. you're getting sent back to spawn. You can't just yeah. send. The Swiss star. and Octolings out there as fast as you can. You've got to be coordinated. Definitely. What? Like we said, exponentiated pushes. Or expi we want to we wanna push together as a team. Now, FT Win is one of... What? It's a team that has always oh, kept their Oh, you put goal. that up there. Um, I see. The, That's uh, what that NA is. Yeah. Finals. Yes. I NA see it. Open fin Finals 2019. <laughs> <laughs> we that saw that funny. they really kept their cool even though Loki was taking taken matches off of them and they didn't let that bother them and I think that that came through in this turf war match. As we get set for our next matchup in the ink pools yeah, here, Australia, to New Zealand, Lime Soda, they won the coin toss oh, and they're no, going to go with Anchovy Games for our next yeah, stage here. What do you like about this little bit of a throwback Alex. here, Nan? It is a throwback and the, okay. the thing that everyone will know about this map is you have the fans that raise two of the platforms that allows you to that not only defend funny. your side but go up and attack the other side too. So yep, I think in choosing that, there's saying all right we i know it doesn't show up i still know what you're talking about though way deep into the opponent's I side they sometimes have the mixer the so you have to feel that that confidence that they brought the into this one here milana isn't wavered even though they dropped their first right. game yeah. like we said before it's that, right. it's that momentum i that still they know might what it is so even though they lost they they had Big that confidence stuff. building up throughout that match and yeah. that might be carried over into the next match. And what we're seeing here once again, yeah. Nine, is what we talked about before. You gotta try and stay alive in the final 30 mm -hmm. seconds because we're seeing those last minute two ones, three versus twos that really are able to claim it's victory. Going by faster than I thought it would. Right, and those last 10 seconds matches. sometimes feel a lot longer than 10 <laughs> seconds. And a lot of it's been like three, have three have hours since I started. We've seen teams bring that out. We didn't talk about it a lot, but you throw those out, the suction bomb rush especially, you can take an entire area of a map in just a few presses of the button. Yeah, it's very 
very powerful, especially at the end, because by the time you get those bomb rushes out, the other team probably doesn't have enough time to recover and re-ink your turf, Milana. And definitely. And using those bomb rushes, you can hopefully get a pick, which gives you more turf from that. <laughs> Getting set for our third match here in the ink pools. We're about 90 seconds away, and we mentioned Anchovy Games, Australia winning the coin toss here. And already in both these matches, it's like you mentioned here, Nine, this is a very balanced championship core of teams. There isn't really anybody that's a clear, clear, clear-cut favorite. Everybody has a chance to win this. Right, and I think all four of these teams at one point in their match have held the lead. There's just <laughs> a small misplay here and there, but I think that that again shows you how well you can play and how good like all of these teams are. And even though there are that, levels that's that's too, a when you get this far, you know saying. what it means to win. You know exactly what you need to do yeah. in a right situation. It's just a matter of controlling your nerves and executing. And that's such a good mm. point because we were talking to Australia and New Zealand and they said they felt more pressure qualifying for the well, World Championships than being <laughs> here Zealand. because they knew the opportunity oh, to be on this stage, to be in this spotlight was huge. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to miss out on it, but now that they're here, they know that they can just relax. They have nothing to lose. Definitely. I mean, we're all here to have a good time, right? And spot some squids, cephalopods. <laughs> <laughs> I like it right there. And as we said, they're getting ready to roll here in Ink Pools, Anchovy Games. <laughs> and what about sub-weapons, Nine? We haven't had much of a conversation regarding that. What sub-weapons do you like to see in Turf War? Well, in Turf War specifically, I think the Fizzy Bomb is a very strong weapon. One of the new ones that came with the Tony Kensa set, you shake that up a little bit, it'll explode three times and it covers a lot. But outside of that, any time oh, that you have what we would call a lethal bomb, a, sub, uh, suck a bomb, a splat bomb, it's going to be great. And you can throw it up to pressure the opponents on this map. Oh, oh let's go ahead and put a quarter in the machine here. Say? You're ready. Anchovy Games, we've got Lime Soda taking mm, on Lime Soda. Rogue right now. Let's go ahead and, and they're take still a look yellow. The Lime Soda, are they? Well, look at it. Both they're sides have opted for the bucket. Both Will and Urza are going to be playing that Slosher Deco. I didn't even get the chance to talk about the sprinkler. That thing has been bugged recently. It will take a lot of area. And the Ooh, Slosher Deco, one of the like most common picks in the game. Lime Soda. And pointed out earlier, Milana, those fans that raise the platform are going to play a pivotal part in this match. Definitely. It... it gives that easy Ooh, entry into the enemy really side of the battle, um, but it also, you have to keep it up. You have to keep uh -oh. shooting at it in order to raise that platform, uh -oh. so potentially that uh -oh. could be uh, um, an area Dude, of, of a problem area as well. Uh -oh. Soren using the explosher to apply uh -oh. a little bit of pressure. Urza bringing a bucket to the match as well, too. Both uh -oh. buckets going at uh -oh. it, but the baller by Urza, baller. Oh, unable to get dude. a splat. Soren oh, going to go ahead and hop in the baller as well, too. And uh -oh. early on, neither team getting that player advantage on the map here, Nine. Well, they've both been very cautious. Oh, One of the reasons that it's so important to control this fans is because, as you can see, there aren't really other ways oh. to attack the opponent. It's just going to be down. a battle for the middle until one side pushes up. They've both been delivered oh, about getting there nice and slow, but you see Alliance Pro Holy crap, starting man. to get up there. Kiver with the Danger, suction bomb yeah, rush right whoa. now. You see Yoshiko at the top of your screen with uh -oh. a fine job, Milana, of being yeah. that backliner and staying on the higher elevation to apply pressure. Oh my gosh. Um, the thing about the ball point is that even though it is a backline weapon, you have a lot of mobility. Oh. So it can act as a frontline weapon. Mm -hmm. You can really hold your own. So her positioning is a little bit mm -hmm. less important, but oh, yeah. she's doing For sure. A couple of first yeah, bombs coming up just here. Just up everywhere. That. Let's take a look at Gray with that mini splat yeah. link. Raising the platform. Trying to stay higher. Nice little use right there. Oh, here uh, comes some there goes tentum missiles. missiles. Let's see them scatter here. Nine. Look out. Scatter is the right way to put Ooh, it. Gio doing a good job not retreating so far back that he gives up the fan. You see moving right back up there. He knows Ooh. that his job is to continue painting here and not allow that pivotal spot to be taken. Ooh. Alliance Rogue has got a special ready to go. Sword just trying to determine when he's going to use that baller at this point. One minute left though. DJ Ooh. Playing that remix, and things are uh -oh. going to get hot and heated here in a second. Will trying to bring the bucket on, into the back line. No luck there, going one on one at this point. Oh, baller oh, ready to go. Oh, and we've got oh, baller oh, on baller. Oh, 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 we got him. Oh, and that is the crack of the wall that you're looking for if you're a line throw. It is. They've been right up there. You see, they didn't the waste time. any time. And all of them oh. really are stuck back here. They're going to have to do the rest. You see this baller using isn't going to be able to find that hole before the middle of the map. They're having to use their special Oh, shoot. Oh. 3 2 oh. on the map. Yeah, and a that special was funny. Ready to go for Alliance Rogue. They're looking to try and push this thing and claim a victory mm. at this point. Both teams looking oh. for the first victory in oh, Inkle. Cool. Soren being retreated right now. It's going to require Dude, quite the they're push. Not, they're in, they're in so trouble 12 here. Seconds left. Geo trying to oh, avoid a couple of shots in that explosion. Uh -oh. Able to stay alive. 
Oh, oh no. Oh, yeah, it didn't look too good for Lime. That whole game. Yeah. I think that Lime sort of maybe played a little bit too aggressively in this Lime. game. Um, I saw a oh. few 3v1 situations yeah. that maybe wasn't Week what one. they had hoped. Uh, would be the outcome. So I think Zulu. using that aggression, so, yeah, pulling it back just was, a little right? bit, and I think at the very end, I Alliance forgot who New Zealand was. Back a bit. They pulled back to mid so that they knew they had that turf ready, readily covered and readily available. I forgot who so New true, Zealand right? it was. It seemed like those platforms with the fans played such a big role in this map, and then also the timing of the specials for the second match in a row. We saw two ballers meet, and the one that deploys <laughs> those and explodes is the one that has the advantage. Ballers. And when you have the middle yeah. of the map, that means that you've painted up very well. So many ballers have everywhere. Those specials. And it seems like every time oh, that we ballers. saw uh, Team Australia start to move in, there was a baller waiting for them. And that's not by <laughs> accident. They are patient, they are ready, they know where they need to hold and that's when they need funny. to use that special. And it goes back to communication, as you said earlier, Milana. You know when you have a special, you don't get too excited and open your present early before your birthday. Huh. You wait until the time is You'll right. Wait. It seems like that's, that's what I say for Team yeah, Europe. They don't really do a first. Alliance Rogue as far as, hey, we might be in a disadvantaged state, let's use a special. They definitely held their specials. They didn't use, the use them willy-nilly. They didn't... If they didn't need it, they wouldn't use it. It's like baller it's versus baller. Here. So Australia, New Zealand, oh, Lime Soda, they dropped their second match in the ink pools. Meanwhile, Alliance Rogue representing Europe, they're one and one. Now we'll see a matchup between our two teams that won their opening round. FT Win representing Team <laughs> North America and your defending champions, the GG Boys from Japan. And Nine, I know you're really so excited for this matchup. Well, I, th I think this is oh, the one gosh. that everyone's been waiting for. I know it's Turf War, so it's not quite what everyone's looking to yet, mm. but this is going to tell us a lot about the way these two teams stack up on an individual level, right? The coordination is still important. The game knowledge is still important. This should be a lot of fun to watch, and I believe we only have one map left that they can go to. Oh. Skipper Pavilion will be our next map What's here. Give us map? early thoughts about this one. Well, this is a great midline map. There are areas here that you can just set up shop, watch where the opponent is coming from, and hold them back from there. I don't think that this is a backline mandatory map, so we might see Ice opt to switch to another weapon, but I do feel this might play to the strengths mm. of the GG boys just a little more. Uh -oh. That's such a good point, Milana, because right. Nine says it's not a backline map. GG boys don't really play with mm. a true backliner. Definitely. We see Dynamon maybe choosing to use an Explosher sometimes or a Custom Jet Sculpture. But in general, we, yeah. you know, his name is Dynamon. You might for go down low. <laughs> <laughs> so as we get set for Skipper Pavilion between FT Win and North America and the GG Boys of Japan, 90 seconds away here. Anything that you're seeing different develop between these two high-level teams as they match up against each other in turf war anything that you're seeing that stands out over these last couple of matches i think the most interesting part to note is that there were two uh l3 is what we're going to call them the l3 nozzle nose is a weapon that has just recently within the last couple of weeks started to creep up into relevance it's a weapon that paints a lot and it does it mm. very very quickly and both of the specials the baller and the inkjet were used to great effect earlier so i'm interested to see if they opt to go with that and what ft wins response to that is because that's not a very conventional weapon and we've also seen a point sensor for a sub-weapon, and yes, it doesn't cover any ink, but it is something that can really help out your teammates. It can. When mm. you see a lot of enemy ink on the ground and you toss that out, oh. the worst thing that happens is nothing happens. You don't get punished. The best thing that happens is you identify where the opponent is sitting. We like to call it sharking <laughs> within the community there to stick with the nautical puns. But identifying where the opponent oh. is trying to hide can be very important, especially if you're getting desperate. So that blows. floats with me to continue the nautical puns right oh, there. Nine, well, I know. Yeah, no. love it. I'll keep serving them up to you oh. all day long. My friend, and we, there's yeah, a look, look at, at that trophy. Sterling Squid. You see the names and places uh, on that on the side. In 2017, Team North America deadbeat, scoring the big upset over Team Japan. But then last year, the GG boys, the winners, they're hoping to time. go ahead and just hit copy paste <laughs> on that trophy for uh, this year. But they've got to get trophy. by some very strong teams, as we mentioned. FT Win, mm. a team that has really done mm. a great job of establishing themselves as one of the top teams in North America here, Milana. Any other notes about them as far as what you've seen from FT Win throughout the year? Um, I've seen them participate in online tournaments. I've seen them participate in locals. They are oh. really just a force yep. to be recognized. All right, here we go. Here we go. go. Skipper Pavilion, Turf War, and our English. Two and a half is this time. Hey. What the hell? North America. Oh, that's a horse, Tim Keeler. Oh, 
do, and I think that the GG boys know exactly that. Look at Essen. Yeah, this is good, isn't it? A year ago, you would have been laughing. That's awesome, dude. Right there now, we're going. Some of the scariest weapons to go up against. You see oh, right snap! There, look. The fact, you know, we said this would be a long-range map. The GG boys opted to look at it. What we would call a double backline composition in well, this fight. Well, there's still a oh, one down. Oh boy, right here. Here. Using that tentabrella to clear some space. Ooh. Shaq right now, sharking around as we Ooh. see it. Here comes that suction bomb mm -hmm. as well too. Both mm -hmm. that upper echelon. Oh, another one. Having the higher ground in this map. Oh, oh, that's big too because it seems like you have to be on the higher ground. Oh, okay. Um, ah, like who's down? Oh, shit. You can see everything that's happening. Um, and Ooh, it's oh. just... It's mm -hmm. better for you in every situation. Uh, <laughs> IG moving along with that L3 yeah, as you said here doing a great job of covering some <laughs> It's also so good at picking up splats and that's, that's what the GG said. said. They're looking for splats early on in this mm. match. Well, and you look at what they've done with Etna there. Etna has been uh -oh. in the top part of the map this Get entire game and for good reason. Oh, it takes two or three Ooh, people to take him out. They've down. rotated their backliners at the bottom and Yamamichi has used the oh, same gosh. stingray from the same spot three times now. Yamamichi getting it done for the GG boys have got a 4-3 oh. advantage but that's the gate at all of a sudden ice with a nice They're slot right good. there to even things up you see that the seems in trouble ice, trying to apply a little bit of pressure oh, help out his team yeah. over there Kyo was in a two oh. on one but very nicely done by ice to provide that support time and that oh, support geez. is exactly what they're going to need because again oh. to go back to the tentabrella that is a Man. you can't really be in a one on one provided that the opponent knows what they're doing is that a goal? 109 oh, left right. oh, oh. and the baller taking on the tentabrella oh. trying to ruin the camping Man. trip right there but oh, no he's gone Tuzi getting splatted from behind Man. high G trying to avoid the pressure right now ah but who's winning, winning. I can't even tell who's winning right, right now Chases them back. Oh, jeez. Also, be very careful about how defensive you can be here, too. Guys. You do, and we see uh -oh. the bubbles coming up nope. right here, and immediately Ice jumps bubbles. all the way out and says, you know what, I'm not going to get anything out of, out of that situation. Here. Be careful, your shot that was funny. To jump on this aggressive play, but just like oh. Hogwarts, the GG boys sense that there's danger, rotate back. It's going to be a battle of specials as we get here in the last 30 seconds. Shaq trying to get behind oh. enemy defenses, 2D using go. the baller. Nice job by Ty. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Huge support uh, on that splat for the advantage, GG boys. Final 30 Ooh, seconds, Yamamichi once again with that stingray getting a big time. Spotted down Gyo's kill, that means that all of this turn is going to be completely out. free to ink, and there is oh, a lot geez. of these. Etna pushed up, oh. Shaq and Ice are pushing Dynamon back, and Yamamichi Two needs to rotate, boys. does just that right there. All they need to do oh. is hold their position, and I think that splat's going to be the one that Ooh. settles it. Yamamichi oh, 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 getting oh. it done for the GG boys, a bit of a trade right there in the oh. double splat at the end. For good measure, yeah. unbelievable work. You see the GG boys like gonna clearly it. take this victory, and it looks like even though the competition has stepped mm -hmm. up nine, the GG boys that have obviously like elevated huge. their game. That was a battle that was won on the I weapon know, right? select screen. You can see that the GG boys I came in with win an idea. The We're gonna put Essen up at the top. We're gonna distract the as many people as we can with our double backline of how well we were doing. We'll ward people off, and if we need to support that now, we have an infinite range stingray that's gonna do that job. Man, like, yeah, the yeah, they're gonna kill quite exactly whatever which one. And they go ahead and take the overall top seed for the most part. Yep. Then you've got a couple teams that go 1 1. But at this point, we'd like to welcome in the other member of our commentary crew. Put your well, hands I together. I kind of thought that's what was going to happen. How are you doing? I'm great. I well, made a kid and a squid while I was gone <laughs> last year. So I'm, I'm ready. Well, I've, I got one more left and I can have a whole Splatoon team. Well, as we get set yeah. for rank mode here soon, for you, what's the biggest difference? You've obviously covered a couple of these championships before. When we make the transition from ink pools to rank mode. I mean, ranked mode is a whole different ballgame, right? So mm -hmm. in Turf War, there is one objective. Obviously, there's a single objective in all of these ranked modes, but... There's so much more strategy that goes into each one of these modes that you're going to see all kinds of crazy loadouts. I think nine, like we've talked a lot about how things have changed quite a bit, even from PAX, when we were at PAX, like things have changed. And so it'll be really interesting to see what these teams roll out with. And obviously, Pax. turf war is the foundation of a lot of different things covering that turf, as we said before. But then you get to the rank mode and you throw in another objective, and that's going to change these loadouts, as we said. It is. And I think the most important thing to note is it, uh, none of the rank modes are decided when time hits zero in the same way that turf war is. We say that only the last 30 mm. seconds matter because it doesn't turf matter war. how well There's you play so the entire turf game. Wars. In ranked modes, you get I don't to see keep anything like rain catch or whatever yet. Let's take a look at some of these ranked modes here as we prepare for semi-final like action. So there we go. 2019. 
Up next is tower, tower control. control. Okay. Many people love here. This Let's is so many turf floor. Control. Ashley, what are we looking to see? I was wondering well, about there's a tower these. in the middle of the map, and if you or any of your teammates get on it, it's going to move toward words. the enemy base. If you can get through the checkpoints, which is a very key part of the strategy here, uh, you can, in fact, knock out the other team. But they're not going to make it easy. For you. <laughs> Let's take a look at the updated Why bracket. After we just got done with our <laughs> eight pools and see who will be facing off against each other in semifinal action. All right. You see that. the GG boys in first place. FT win in second. Alliance Rogue in third. And then oh. Lime Soda in fourth. So GG boys will take on Lime Soda in the okay. first semifinal. And then FT uh, wins four, four. facing off against Alliance Rogue. Yeah, of course they're first place. Here. And so your eyeballs are going to so, FT so win in Alliance there. Rogue. They had a very balanced turf war match. Yeah. And you figure rank mode will be just the same here time well just think back to just one year ago the last time that we saw the north american team and the european team we saw fireworks there one of the best sets of splatoon i've ever seen i expect much the same here as we keep going to this tournament in tower control ashley did a great job of talking about the checkpoints and on certain maps some checkpoints are more important than others nine what does that mean well, when we say that a checkpoint isn't that important, what we generally mean is it's very easy to reach it and very easy to get through it. It's not a big point of congestion or contesting. So if we, there's a spot where we say this is the key checkpoint to get through, generally that is the point of no return. And you know, some maps only have two checkpoints. That's right. And mm. that is when things get really intense because you've got to scrap for, for that time in those checkpoints. Mm. You are, it's, it's, it's war. Well, it's, it's really decor. important too huh. when you get to a checkpoint to clear it. The last thing you want to do is sit there and park with the engine idle for eight seconds and then not clear the checkpoint. Uh, Tower resets. Yeah, You've got to go through that same point again. That. You do. You have to get through every part of it. So even if you get to one it's single like point left on a checkpoint, almost. you don't clear it and it goes back. you got to get all ten of them well, again. I don't know. As we get set to more Tower Control here, we had a conversation once again with the GG boys, the defending champions, and Ashley, they said it was very back and forth. when we're on the tower, we understand the, tower. the opposing team is focusing in on our player on the tower. We need mm -hmm. to use the tower as a distraction that to tower. go for splats to protect our buddy. They are so oh. good at that strategy because, one, they have some of the absolute best slayers out there. And so you're going to look for all kinds of flanks from GG boys. They're yeah. going to be looking for ways mm -hmm. to take out the back line and the <laughs> mid line of their opponents so that there is no way you're going to see a stingray on the tower. And that's going to be the easiest way to get an opponent off of there. All well, right, we are ready to go here. Tower control, tower. semifinal it's action. Like... Hey, how about a good old scoop of vanilla ice cream? The reef for our stage here. Nine, I know you love this one. I it's do. Like and this map is one it, of the most exciting places to play tower control. You don't want to be on it to get knocked there. off. Three checkpoints, but they go by quick. That first checkpoint, nearly a stepping stone. It's really that second checkpoint. I don't want to get knocked off the first. tower. Lime soda in the green, oh, and you've got the big. GG boys Already. in the in the purple tower control oh. early on, and a splat that makes it 3-3 three, three on oh. the Snap. Three, oh one. crap, oh, very down. He built that thing right oh. in 10 seconds. Outrageous. <laughs> Jeez. A master builder right there. What the heck? On the tower, you hear the cheery music See playing. That? And now it's all about protecting the tower when it's at the tower. Just like, like that. Oh, no. They're not doing too well right now. Oh, crap. It's one of the easiest ways to clear a checkpoint. Oh, man. If you've wiped, especially an entire team, the best thing you can do is push forward as far as you can. They're getting so overwhelmed right now. That ended fast. It already looked like they were winning. It's like, oh god, they like the floor with them. For the most part, you saw the poop. My poop. They were able to what? build that stingray early on. To we were that coming that here very, saying that. Very smart because they knew, okay, we will give up <laughs> a little bit of presence in How's the game. Maybe trade for what could be a double splat. It did end up being that. That allowed Dynamon to get through that oh, first checkpoint without what you're any talking resistance about. whatsoever. What but you're the saying moment, there. I think was the fact that as Taiji was in that inkjet moving up, Etna moved up to take that spot as well. We're going to talk about rotational pressure. Mm. That's exactly what that was. And Ashley, we saw the push yeah. from the GG Damn, boys. That they was just camped insane. out by the tower. They extended their offense out and really they got knocked out like it was They're nothing that buys some precious seconds for the tower to move it absolutely mm. does and i think the gg boys 
of all the teams here have obviously been together the longest. They're the defending champions. They have not spoken out a single player from last year. And that means that they have, I would argue, the most trust, right? So they trust that whoever's on that tower, they can go forward, they can push, they can make those kind of gambles that really pay off and enable them to win so quickly. What the heck? Another one? All right. ファイナルスレッツゴー。ファイナルスレッツゴー。ファイナルスレッツゴー。ファイナルスレッツゴー。ファイナルスレッツゴー。ファイナルスレッツゴー。ファイナルスレッツゴー。ファイナルスレッツ
We've been uh, talking to them all week and how excited they are to be here, but they're not yeah, wide-eyed. The stage isn't too big. I was like, they what the heck? They can come so here and make some noise. All they're playing with health money. They know that if they just go out and execute it, they have the right weapon. Oh, right? Gosh. Everything that they play is what we would consider to be meta. They're here to have fun and compete. It's the same game. The stage is just a little different. And also, they're the upset kings of this tournament. I mean, they came back from a, an 0-4 deficit mm. to win 5-4 in God. their qualifier. So anything could happen. I, I'm excited to watch them play. I absolutely mm -hmm. love that they are a really great representation of the, the meta boys. and also just really Wait, good no, cool hold people on. to hang out with. Like last couple <laughs> yes, of days. Yes, lime soda right there bubbling up <laughs> What they going again with before? The they get set for tower control. Maybe a different strategy. Let's go ahead and run this thing back. Yeah, they're pretty good. Tower I know. control on the reef. You've got the GG boys of Japan in the purple, and then in that green, you've got lime soda and nine a little bit more. It looks like we're seeing the same we'll composition. Have to see what yeah, and I, I think you had a crazy stream well, last night. You're trying to figure out the stuff and everything. Ah. What so happened last night? Oh. They know, okay, we can't do that again. And they're actually on the upswing this oh, time. Geez. Four three advantage momentarily on the map for Lime Soda. That tower hasn't moved at all. So oh, Lime really? Soda showing that they could be quite the formidable foe early on. Here comes Taiki with an ink jet trying Don't to fly. Yeah, I think I remember noticing that. that. Ashley, we've also heard these teams say, huh. we're not going to grab that tower until we have wow, advantage. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you want to wait to get on the tower. I know uh, whenever I play, I get really excited. I want to jump right on there but the real strategy here is knowing when to get oh, off the God. tower and when to get back on the tower so they're all gonna wait until there is an oh, advantage uh, and the right oh. person can get on that tower what nice the little trade right there is yamamichi right uh. tower to the first checkpoint you see three two on the map and a couple of specials ready to go for the uh. and you saw immediately they moved up and forced a double team on will yeah, that, that followed me probably a little earlier than will what? wanted to and now we're gonna get to see again this snowball start to go up yoshiko is positioned very well but needs Ooh. to hit a snipe Oh, Ooh, oh. Like the man. what the Great heck? Destined. Speak it into life here. Nine. <laughs> Nine. Nine's for Damas. Wow. It's 4 4. The tower really just what has the first checkpoint, and that's not safe by any means on Jeez. this map here. Nine. You also look 3.30 left, plenty of time here, Ashley, and Lime Soda doing a good job of bending and not yeah, breaking. Yeah, it did seem like a weird at one one night, Joe. Oh, good God. I mean, God, these guys are just they wiping sure each other. They are taking out their opponents oh, so they don't man. get these specials because Yamamichi yeah. with that Stingray is oh. very dangerous. Here comes Etzanub jumping into action here, Nine, and what are we seeing from the what? GG boys? We saw an oh. incredible use of all three specials there. Dynamon, yeah, kept I kind of thought this was going to happen. Color. Then they used their Stingray. Once the counter stingray came out there, doesn't look, ready doesn't to look like that. it's so going too well for Lion Soda. Shock being very careful to stay in some green ink. Drop the hammer on Yamamichi. Oh, shoot. The I'm not too sure anymore. Ah. They have a sizable 32 to 100 lead. Will trying to avoid some pressure gets on the tower. Let's see if Lion Soda can get on the board here. 230 left, plenty of time, but they face oh, another snap. deficit actually down 4 3 on the map. It'll be really interesting to see what Will does next. He takes out a Tona. Oh, uh, God. Ends up going one for one. It's a trade. I, They're oh, just going really at it. Close. I think at the I'm each other. I don't know what's going to happen here. GG boys. Yeah, it looks like GG boys going to win. Again. You're going to hear it all afternoon long. Well, uh, uh, on, on the floor. Then on the walls. Right Using that baller, however, getting huh. pushed off the tower. That's the issue with the baller on the tower sometimes. Oh, it shoot. Is, but you saw that Tyson was up there holding that position. And to talk about That's those counters, it just happened. Dude. If you Dang. are on defense and you lose that, that oftentimes swings the game for you. Yoshiko needs to hit another snipe. Oh, my gosh. Speak it into existence this time. crazy. Final checkpoint cleared. It looks like the GG boys are going to have no yeah. problem getting this victory. And they do. Took yeah. a little bit more effort than last time, though. Yeah. You see that Australia, New Zealand, I thought, that was gonna, I thought something like somewhat that was going to happen. But it was just that constant onslaught by the GG Kinda. boys. Too overwhelming. You know, that, that know combo until it happened. the baller and then you got Taiji with the inkjet is just so yeah. hard to overcome on it power. It like it's good. Oh, 
Let's check the stats. It has what? infinite range. It uh -oh, goes through walls. What happened? And you can see where what the opponent stream? is. So all three of those oh, things yeah, are very important. Yeah, thanks for following. Oh, what? 2,000? Modes that will be playing today, tower control and rainmaker, have a centralized my stream objective. You can yeah, see where I know. Japan is just insane. And on the insane. checkpoints there, you saw they were opting to save their stingrays yep. for that time. Because nobody can run like if they that. get off the tower. Anybody the checkpoints are just back. We just got done with tower control. Yeah, I know. The strategy Only there. one minute. We'll for our next ranked mode match between like, the, the GG boys of Japan and Lime Soda of Team Australia, New Zealand. And it, it seems fast. like for Team Australia, New Zealand, what they did to, to it. just make sure that they can continue to get the last move against the GG boys. They a lot faster than that. Yeah, sometimes when any team plays against the GG boys, it. it's really what tough to get a hold the, of how aggressive the they can boys be, up uh, especially when they really get out in front and they start keeping you away from a central objective. And I think that's going to be the hardest An thing Irish to do, team? but it is the thing they must do mm, if they have, if they want to chance. I don't think so. I'm not back. sure. Let's go ahead and take there's a look not, at our next there's, there's New Zealand. Did I if I said that there, right? Said we just Australian. Got control. The GG boys and get the first New York. No, what New York? My bad. It's North America, not New York. Yeah, North America, and then there's Japan. I don't think there's a there's. I don't think there's ever been an Irish team. I'm not. I don't, even, I don't remember uh, anything about that. There's a lot that goes into Clan Blitz. It is the newest mode. Well, it's probably the yeah, there's EU, the right. This is probably the mode where just controlling there. the map is the most mm -hmm. important part of it. And we've seen a lot of developments in this mode yep. since the last time that we were on this stage. I'll say if there's two things you have to do, everybody needs to pitch in to collecting clams. You collect ten of them, it puts together what we call All a football right, Clam Blitz now. I was wondering basket, about this we'll one. These teams can show you how it's played. Clam Blitz, and I ever want a ball here. You've got the GG mm -hmm. boys of Japan and the orange and then lime soda and the green. Oh. Speaking with the GG boys, oh, right. they Let's said see. it's less about splashing My God. Clam oh, Blitz, but rather orange is already picking up the lead. The of the clams on the map, so What's up with green? Those power clams, and let's see if they Online soda, what are they, what are they trying to do? Like Dang. God, well, once again, GG boys, what the like heck, man? That team is insane. They've been going through this whole the tournament like it was nothing. Like, what the heck? Man. And this Taiji baller actually is going to get them through. Oh. They need to grab that claim again, though. Taiji dancing around the Dude, they, they got wiped out. Look at the four of the completion. Oh. Oh. Clam into the basket, and now it's time for the GG boys to go to the basket. But as you said, you can grab that. Oh. Well, I, I'm not sure Australia if I'm saying that right. Walrice Griffin? Australia Thanks for the follow. Right there, only huh. Yeah, that's right. I'm sure if I was saying that right. Thanks for the follow for the follow. Well, yeah, God, I can't talk right now. Yeah. Thanks right again. My gosh. This is just... Little by little, but what's going to need to happen is they're going to have to put Oops. down some ink here because it, this map is covered in a lot of orange. And, oh, and man. They're also going to have to stay away from Yamamichi Stingray. Yamamichi once again with that Stingray applying pressure man. from the back line. Tight. Oh, there goes all those clams. Pick up those clams again. Chilling. Right yep. Just watching this tournament thing here. Huh? There what the heck just there. That was a very happened? They know Etna's still there, oh. they do. For a second there, I was a little worried that they were looking Danger. the wrong way. So again, you're seeing Lime small soda. scores, and that's going to mean that the penalty God, is still there. Now, that power claim that we talked about scored you 20 points. So Why do they have 67? Lime soda not out of it at all. As you said, one power clamp followed by some smaller ones mm. in the basket. They are right back in this thing. They've got a fourth main yeah. advantage. On the field, yep, they still seem to have one. Oh, they got 12 now. Chilling. Yeah. I would say Wait, I already said that earlier. Those yeah. Right there that you can see flying by. Lots of they're, they're all over the place. I love the that they're feeling tentacles. The uh, world championship. Really Before uh, so they do the Smash Bros. world championship. Find a different way. You gotta flank. 
so that's the first one. That's the one I really want to see. Pushing him all the way back and continuing Oop. to just create space. So often we focus so much on the splash, but oh. there's something about positioning the yourself the in the right spot and allowing yourself to continue oh. putting pressure. Yeah, they're women. Yeah, they won last time. Did they already? Yeah, they did. Oh, probably of course they did. Jeez. Not out of it by a long shot. That's enough. Gonna go ahead and super jump huh. back for defensive purposes. Dynamon trying to apply some pressure uh -oh. with that splasher. 143 left, and right now the match has gotten to a bit of a stalemate oh. here, Nine. It has, and the way that GG Boys is playing right now means that Lime Soda actually can't oh, build boy. up any clans. You see they're shuffling a few around oh, back geez. here. They know that there's not much time, so they're trying to make the score that they do get yeah. here a big one. But because GG oh. Boys continues to hold the map, there's not even a chance for them to build it. Dude. Oh, the barrier is broken, though. The uh -oh. GG Boys have a chance to add to their lead. They're adding clams by the bushel at this point. What 36 to 100, you see the timer in the middle. Oh, they give them more time to fill the basket up can they get one more clamp in there doesn't look like they oh they do oh they do and oh. here comes more pressure riding the shield uh -oh. of those bubbles, trying to pop the hopes of line look soda. at that one minute left this is crazy one point advantage for the gg boys one minute now left. when it gets left. difficult for line soda to have a comeback oh. here nine and yep, that is it. the game gg boys filling the basket they take a two oh goal lead and once again it was still a hundred by the gg boys yeah. but how about that strategy yeah. we saw there, Ashley? Yeah. Hiding in the bubbles for some protection to get closer to the basket. It's a great strategy. It's a great way yeah. because I think they're it's going to take tournament. a lot of ink to get those bubbles to shrink down enough yeah, we'll to see. be able to get Looks your like opponent. The... So, yeah, yeah, that's a great strategy. Hide in there as long as you can. Stay in the bubbles and then get right under that basket. And as soon as the bubbles either go away or pop, Man. you're going to go. First two victories go to the GG boys. One more, and they will have the sweep in the mm -hmm. semifinals and find themselves in the finals. Let's take a look at the next upcoming. Yeah, oh, Rainmaker now. We've got Splat Zones, and this is the one that a oh, lot of Splat Zone, players right. love. Splat That's Zones. Well. Tell me a little bit more about the strategy here, because it's a little Splat bit of turn zone, four. However, there are some things that change here. There are. I think the easiest way to describe it is something of a king of the hill, right? There is going to be a zone, sometimes mm -hmm. two smaller zones, that you have to take. That is going to bring down your timer. You want your timer to either be lower than yeah. the opponent's when the time runs out, or run all the way to zero. And competitive players love it because of how consistent it tends to be. And you mentioned consistency, Ashley. We've had the conversation before. A lot of these modes, you can mount a comeback. Oh Splat zones, very difficult to come back. What are some things you need to keep in mind once you secure the zone if you want to make sure you protect your victory? Securing the zone is one thing. Making sure you're not getting penalized when it gets taken back is another thing. So really, really doing a good job of pushing yeah. forward, making sure, again, you're keeping your opponent from either that central objective in the splat zone or both splat zones. You really have to have good defense when there's two. There we go. Let's go shopping at Mako Mart here. Yeah, Don't control forget to grab the zone. some milk. Splat zones this yeah, there's like one splat zone on this map here. King of the so hill. The action is going to be very concentrated. It is. And taking a look right now, immediately, you see a double L3 nozzle nose. That's going to mean two ballers and a third one being added oh. inside Dynamo on there. If all three of those go in the zone, they're going to take it in the blink of an oh, eye. Oh, no. You see already? Lime Soda and the Orange and the GG Boys of Japan Dude, and the seriously. Purple GG Boys already securing the zone. My one gosh. One thing they talked about Nine is that they're not going to push too far once they get the zone. They want to make sure mean? that they aren't too huh. aggressive. And give themselves oh, the man. To be stuck from behind, flank from behind to lose the zone. And they're especially going to try to build their game. Not you looking see, good. They already have a stingray at the ready. That's oh, going to God. Oh. Yoshiko, who is willing to trade a one for one there. I like that because it allowed them man. to take the zone and apply a penalty. Huge recovery right there. Oh, by Lime Soda. You whoa, see the 36 okay. second penalty for the GG that. boys. That'll buy some precious seconds for Lime Soda. 4-3 on the map. And actually a chance oh. for Lime Soda to finally make a push with the advantage. That was a huge take back. Oh. Oh, Once you boy. can apply that penalty, it becomes Still a, ahead. There's a little less oh, pressure. Oh. And I think that that's really helpful for them in Man. this moment. You see the splat. We've got a spill on Isle. Like there's Jones no right stop there. in the scene. Taiji, you mentioned the double L3 composition. They're going to go and try and put a lot of pressure on Lime yeah. Soda at this point. And you can see oh. they have two ballers at the ready, so they're not going to have any trouble oh, at all doing that. Etsina going to run in, pop the ball, and oh. there's another one that they can oh, use. Whoa. Trapped in the corner. Yep. Etsina goes for three. Why it not? It looks like it's over. Up its and this yeah. Is Oh, God. Can they turn it around? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, jeez. Yeah. They did it.
GG boys with a clean yep. sweep in the semifinals. And last year's defending champions having no issue whatsoever through oh those three modes. And what we saw early, Ashley, they controlled the zone and they were able to apply some pressure and spawn. Yeah, absolutely. And not only were they able to do that, they were able to do that mm. with completely cool heads. Yeah. As if, as if right. this is just something that they do in their sleep, mm -hmm. which pretty much it is. <laughs> well, let's yeah, go ahead and give a round of applause to Lime Soda. They put up some great battles. We certainly appreciate them coming all the way here from Australia and New Zealand to give us a show. Man. I'm sure we will see many of them later. What a great opportunity, great experience for them. But Nine, it's very tough when you're going against the defending champions. It is. They're the champions for the <sighs> reason that they get a little fist bump right there. They know that their goal is still a little ways away. Let's take a look at the updated bracket here as we have our first ticket to the finals punched here huh. by the GG boys. They get the 3-0 sweep in semifinals, so they will take oh on the winner God. of FT Win and Alliance Rogue. And as you said earlier, Nine, this is one of the good North America player. and Europe that we're about to see in the semifinal. North this America is versus really Japan. Want to keep an eye on because these are two teams that are really dominant in their regions and have really go. taken the crown in their respective countries. North and now America they have a now. Chance for an opportunity to knock off the champions here soon. And more than that, they are very familiar with each other. Well, Earlier, yeah, Milano was talking about how long Dragon Paradise team, all of the two teams that have formed this. Those two teams, along with FTW, have been battling at the top of the European North American leagues for ages right <laughs> now. They know the tricks that each other are going to do. And obviously, you're well aware with each player, with each, each team for the most part. But actually, mm. the stage is different. You know, it's different when oh you're gosh. playing online versus live on the stage in front of this crowd, in front of this audience for this platoon sterling squid up for grabs. It's different just casting on the internet <laughs> by yourself. So be, yeah, being in front of this amazing crowd, they're hyped, they're ready to go. Like they, they are super excited to see mm. these teams face off. Obviously FT win, it's a hometown team. We got North America here, but at the end of the day, anything can happen. Like Nine said, <laughs> these teams have faced off against each other many, many times. Just playing Splatoon. So it'll be interesting to see how all of them react. And Nine, we were talking earlier in the week and you said FT win. When they are at their best, it is hard to find anybody better than them. It's just a matter of will they be consistent enough in this tournament to be able to match the consistency we've seen from, say, the GG boys. It is. Mm. And they have been hiding their scrims, scrimmages, scrims for short. They uh. have been hiding the results of those because they don't want anyone knowing what tricks they are. I was trying to talk a little bit with them. These are my <laughs> friends. They're like, sorry, no, we can't tell you anything. Yeah, yeah. No, no friends. No friends None. during no this friends. week here. No friends. Well, we mentioned FT huh. win representing North America. Let's take a closer what? look at the four that comprise this squad. Here we go. Let's do this then. I am Shaq, 2D, oh. and Ice. Hold on. And what? we are v 2 win. Um, my yeah. single piece of advice would be to understand that yeah. getting the most amount of splats in the game yeah. does not necessarily mean that Put the you played perfectly or you did everything properly. Uh. There's always more to learn. Just because mm. you get the most amount of splats doesn't mean that you played the game right. Mm. So FT win okay. right there, getting a chance to know them a little bit better. And Nine, they was, were talking about some yeah, strategy for some folks America. that are maybe just new to Splatoon 2. And he said sometimes it's not all about the splats. Right. There's so many mm. things that go into playing a good game. And sometimes just being a Brella on the tower and not leaving the tower can be the difference between getting a win or a loss. Sometimes it's holding the position. There's just too much to boil it down to a single number. We saw a lot of Stingray with the specials. Baller has been very popular as well, too. And it seems like regardless of the rank mode that we're playing, <laughs> that Baller provides a lot of benefits. It's a great yeah, way to give cover, know. not only to yourself if you're in a bit of a pinch, mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's also a really great way to give cover to oh, your teammates. Excited if for you that. end up getting, you know, double Good, team, sir. you got two squids coming at you. Baller is a great way to five. get them to go away. <laughs> so it's a really nice way to sort of, it's mm. a little bit of a defense mechanism, but also a really okay. great offensive mechanism as well. So it's it's a fantastic special, and there's it's no wonder it's being used a lot. Yeah, that's We're a about a minute spell. away from action here. And Press nine, those specials tomorrow. that seem to provide that temporary invulnerability, like we see with the baller, or that you can stand far away from the action, apply pressure. It seems like there's a defensive component to some of these. There's a defensive component, and there's also spatial control, which is something that, of course, we know the Stingray, being that it can reach everywhere on the map, does. But when you have a baller, it forces the opponents to move away. And even if you don't explode and get a splat, it means that your teammates can move up as well. And spatial control really is the next level of being a good Splatoon player. Yeah, it's that combination of turf coverage because that baller explodes, but then also scattering everybody. Because you know, Ashley, these high-level teams 
a lot of their success is based upon being able to establish certain mm. parts of a map. And when you have to scurry away because of a baller, it can really disrupt your strategy. Yeah, disrupt is exactly the right word. I mean, disrupting a team's rhythm, what they are most comfortable with, is going to be a great way to knock them off their feet and potentially take the win. As we get set, we've got tower control on the reef once again here. FT win right. from North America taking on Alliance Tower Rogue control is good. from Europe. You've got okay. FT win in the blue, Alliance Rogue in hmm. the green, and nine. You know what you love, but what are our loadouts looking yeah. like? Well, I want everybody to keep an eye on two players in particular 2D yeah. from North America and Gray from Alliance Rogue. They are both going to be providing ink armor, one of them with a more aggressive sure weapon than the other, another a more supportive role with that Tensa undercover oh. umbrella. That's a mouthful. And that ink armor, once again, oh, defensive geez. capabilities coming from a special, allowing you to be more aggressive here. A little one on one action here. Shaq getting the best of that, trying to avoid some green heat coming in. Right now, you've got Alliance Rogue that's moved the tower just 10 oh. points, so plenty of action to go here. Urza trying to charge oh. up those 10 missiles, oh. but gets well. splatted by Kyo, and actually okay. early advantage on the map. Both we got FT Win getting a couple of big splats here. Yeah, this is, oh a, this is a, a early advantage, so it may not pay off for them in the end, but it Dude. is a really good thing for them to have been able to huh. kind of, you know, they, they scared you just a little bit. Like it's really like, you know I mean? I'm going to jump back to base. Stuck in the middle, jeez, just back and forth. Well, once again, that spatial control My is able to dislodge and disrupt the stingray for a line. What's up? Oh, it is. And sometimes, like you good. said, that's just enough. Just watching this, uh, these Nintendo to tournaments. Yeah, Nintendo 2019 World Championship Tournament. Watching the Splatoon 2 one right now before the Smash Bros. one. Hey. Yeah. And that's huge. You talked about with the checkpoints. You've got to make sure you clear them. If oh, you're just leaving yourself that's more homework out of school when you get back to that checkpoint. And we know how balanced these teams are. Going? We're a minute and a half in. Neither team is clear. Yeah, it's like, I'm Not trying to see what's right here. And I got this going on at the same time. But God, there's so much going on in the game right now. That might be a really critical stingray. Doing all right. Just watching this. 4 2 on the field for a moment. Tournament. Before the Smash Bros. won. Oh, what's just happened there? Oh, jeez. Nice oh, jeez. The yeah, they're just pushing back and forth. My God. My God. Looks like it's gonna. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Absolutely. Oh. And now we can see there's a couple of uh, couple of rogue alliance jumping in. They think they want to get out of the way of that stingray. Oh. Snap. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Whoa. What the heck? Man. Oh. 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 But their ability to press yeah, that tune up against the tan. So much, but you almost can't say it enough. My God. Your specials in They're just back and forth. Makes it very difficult for your opponent to slow it down. It really does. It's it's a thing there. If you can do that with your team, if you that can communicate insane. and say, okay, you use your Tenta missiles, keep that Stingray away. Now yeah. let's use Baller. Now let's use Splashdown. I mean, if you can do that all coordinated and all together, Strange. it's especially at the end for that last that very last yeah. race to the finish it's it's beautiful and that's what we love about competitive splatoon you have those moments like we saw at the end just pure chaos but these players are so good Oops. at remaining yeah. calm through all that ink flying left and right for the most part <sighs> let's insane. take a closer look at a replay from that last match one of those exciting moments are instant yeah, replay like, 224 oh, left and Keep an eye on the, the tower. It's moving right three. now. Ice moves it, but look at all the action that's going to happen. Walk that. us through it here, Nine. Just... So you see, of course, they have one person in their designated tower. Oh, right? crap. You see the shack was by it as well, meaning that they were going to have at least some Ooh. pressure there. He pops back off, but they were able to get two people. And as the Chief Boy said, it. they went to play around the tower. Yeah. That's exactly what they did, positioning what? to take out anybody who was trying to stop it. What the heck? Splash down at the end, you have to love it. So, FT win, winning a uh, tightly contested match. They were finally able to break the levy in that one and get some momentum. God. But 
you saw how close these teams were because that tower wasn't moving much early on, Ashley. Not at all. It was it was very, very close for a really long time. But I think a couple of splats, they were very key uh, to enable FT Win to finally start making some progress and get through those first couple of checkpoints. Well, let's take a look at our upcoming ranked modes that we will be seeing. We just what? saw tower control. We'll have clamp yeah, turf coming up there next. And Looking oh, at no, Clamblitz, never once again, that strategy, we saw the bubble protection from the GG boys. Oh, we just saw tower control. Never mind, I'm confused with what off. just went on. Right. That is something that I think becomes sort of Clamblitz. a desperation play. That's what's play. And next. I said earlier that again. Clamblitz has developed. If you just sit everybody back, try to run one baller in, teams are too good. That's hey. not Well, too, Ashley, so oh, why? I feel kind of tired right now. Yeah, we saw that from Ty G. The GT boys figured it'll be just as fine this time around. Stunning tag, so, right? We'll yeah, trying to see if I was really right. Like Thanks for the follow. Stunning uh, tag. Brawler really comes in handy to be able to push an Thanks opponent backwards to keep them Ooh. off, like off balance, and be able to take them down. But yeah, those one v ones are going to be really key in this uh in this fight oh, and that's we just what's going on shot right now beautiful stage and from the smash bros one to compete at this high level knowing smash that Brothers these tournament. are the best of the best teams they have gone through the rankings here they have gone through the battles and the matches and the qualifiers and here you are on the big stage getting a chance that's to take win on. this is the payoff this is why you oh practice gosh. this is why you put in the hundreds the thousands of hours that you do uh, into this game this, this is why you stay up late this is why you get up early oh no, oh no, this oh no, this still right alliance here. Was it? Did right, we have to win another match in order to win. Over five thousand. Just that, in Splatoon. I don't know why I thought it was already over. Feeding a bottle late at night and nines online putting in more hours. We're, so I love you know, the work, my man. On. Let's go ahead. Arowana Mall Clam Blitz. Let's take a look at these teams. You've got FT Win in the purple representing North America and Alliance Rogue in the green representing Ugh. Europe. And once again, that clam something. management, taking care of the currency on the map seems to be more important. Yeah. Getting splats at times here, nine. It is. And All there's right, one there we go. person in particular I'm going to point out again. I pointed oh. out last time 2D right here. Playing the L3, the Kensa L3 Dude. has a hammer. We have seen the hammer do some pretty great things. Go and get the lead again. Oh, shoot. Oh, what the heck? The you don't want to be the nail. Yeah. Getting some home remodeling done right there. For the that hammer. The field for what the heck was that? In the Hands. Oh my god. Right uh oh. They can advance it into FT win territory and actually the oh. problem is FT win can see where uh. that power clam is coming from. You, yes, it is glowing. And so if you, everybody knows who has the power clam Ooh. and it sort of becomes a little bit oh like soccer. Oh my god, everybody's asking about the power clam. You saw oh, a great god, try to utilize place. the bubbles to clear a path but unable it's to do so neck here in the basket. Right so now. power clam still in the hands of a line broke. We're just pushing back and forth. One -on -one, but get some oh. reinforcement help from his teammates alliance rogue able to avoid that three two like on the field for alliance rogue. and gray really has to be the key player here he's been My in the middle God, of a lot of the action so far but we saw what the tie. Relic can do and given that oh. fg win does not have one of their own it's going to be on gray to push the advantages that weapon has as far this as is crazy possible. Ice with the power clam, a couple of power clams. What's that? Kind of what happened the earlier, but side. then it's Middle just... The map has been where a lot of the traffic is taking place. Joe with the splash down. Mm. Gray still being patient, deploying some bubbles right here. Here comes the uh -oh. Stingray. Alliance Rogue seems like this is where they want to make the push. Oh. Here comes the Stingray, bubbles, baller, everything was Dude. used right there. Gray is going to get oh. the score, and they're going to jump somebody in. Gray actually was able to stay up for that, so Soren doesn't look what like he's heck? going to be able to get any more. I believe this is going to be the end of this push for the time being. But oh, 57 man. is a big mark. We say that this is what? the mark where your score is officially good because so now crazy. two power clams will not equalize it. Such a good point in Ashley. We saw a nice Ooh. job of Alliance Bro clearing some traffic, using the bubbles to get the basket open, but then you saw the teammate use the uh -huh. jump. Yeah, this is, uh, this is, again, okay. like Nine said, classic strategy on, uh, on Clam Blitz. Now, though, like Nine said, you've got North America. Oh, FT has got to really God. push to get at least two power clams plus a little more. Joe and Kimber Ouch. applying some nice pressure. That's Stingray taking out a member of Alliance Rogue. Yo, super jumping over to the side. Here got comes the clams move. ready to go. Here Ooh. comes the power clam. A couple of more broken, but nicely negated. However, they're filling the basket. Oh, the timer is live. Ice oh, has got the clam. The splash are... providing some protection. This is a big one. Oh. one. They trade. Let's see if we can get any more Again? FG Win members in there. They're one clam away here. Not, and they get it. And they take the lead. 
just enough there. And Shaq was actually able to jump back in and sneak more. Shaq is going to keep this open as long as he can there. And able to stay alive. They're going to be able to jump more people to Shaq right now. If they want, oh. they might opt to stick okay. with this score right here. Oh. And it does look like they are Shaq. Oh my gosh. Shaq wow. clearing the way for his This is kind of going back and forth. I see you. 142 44 57 lead. How about the Look out. out once again for 2D. You called it 9 and then. How about the liberal use oh of the God. splash wall, Ashley, providing some nice protection for FT win when they need it most? That it's splash like that wall crazy. is one of my absolute favorite subs. It's a great way. You can, Ooh, you can jump in front loser. of it, jump behind it. It's a really, really great defense uh, for anybody looking to push forward. So he's doing a great job of that. Oh, Let's loose. see if FT win wants to oh. be on the offensive with a minute 15 left. They have a power clamp ready to go. Ice is coming in, but it's only 2 1 on the field. And if you're Alliance Rogue 9, you've got a little bit of time left to mount a comeback, but you've got to be very careful about oh, how you, no. you do. I mean, you've got plenty of time here. Well, I'm really Two so tired of the lead for them right now. Not they really. know that with just a minute. They're going to try to oh. get control and make great bomb up against that splash wall. Flashwall is fun to use when you're not in front of it, but when you huh. are, anything can take you down. What's yeah, you want to make sure the ink is the same color as you when you're oh boy. Here comes the chance. Hey. It's close. It's close. Hey, what the heck? The beginning. Thanks for following. Yep, that's right. Yeah. They snuck more what is that? Did I say that right? Ladra, yeah, thanks they for following. Thanks for the follow. At this point now, it's gonna take oh, jeez. What just happened? Win. Holy cow. Turn of events by a line of <laughs> it is, and really the catalyst that? for that was Gray with the Tentabrella moving in, and then in the middle of all that chaos, hiding oh, in the God. back. Nobody knew he was there. We are going to enter oh, ultra just time here, like that. because they do have a power slam left on oh. the map, and they're gonna need a lot more than one. It's a trade right there. We're gonna head to overtime. You hear the siren uh -oh. sounding. Ice has got to be patient. Oh, and the power clam ready to go. They're going to need more than one. Uh -oh. You see the clam economy at the top. There's going to be a lot becoming available it's here soon. Oh, can't get oh. the flat on Gray with the Tentabrella. Gray oh. trying to stay alive oh. and weaken the forces. No. There's only one FT win member left. Hanging back right there. Oh. And that'll do it. That's it. Alliance Rogue seizing control of wow. this match. And we've got a 1-1 one, one 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 as we get now. set for game three here, Ashley. And yeah, it's like they're going back and forth there a few times. You get to break the defenses and then making the most of your opportunity. That is exactly what Alliance Rogue did. And they did it multiple times in, the, in, in this game. And honestly, watching them really have that strategy locked tight. And all of them were together. They made that Why are they so tired right now? Effort. <laughs> right under the basket and then snuck a little oh. in there right after so it's that really actually made a huge difference it did i think that that's actually really the moment of the game where the entire dynamic changed because at that point yeah. they had to score not only one power clam but a second power clam and then some and it's all because you know every one of those clams is worth three points you sneak four more in that's almost an entire other power clam it meant that ft win had to go out and be risky trying to collect more clams and that's such a good point because you think oh, you have the same two power clams to get the victory there no 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 you got to add some more to your bucket there as you get set let's take a look yeah. at our next upcoming rank mode match it will be splat zones at mako martyrs we saw earlier Slot and zone now. We, okay, that, we love splat yeah. zones amongst the com competitive community because of how consistent it can, be. it can and we saw last time when you get the uh -oh. lead you have to push up you Who's have that? to be a little bit careful about not going too deep but as long as you're putting uh, pressure on the opponent you can get big big scores and we didn't even get the chance to talk about the penalty sometimes flipping Oops. the map is I'm just up. enough to buy yourself nope. a little more time and that's such Here's a good point that you make right there because if you can just buy yourself some time with that penalty ashley you don't need to panic yeah. you can seize control and we've seen before with splat zone. Once you have like control you can almost four hours straight watching this yeah absolutely and and Since you can buy EA yourself play. enough time to really get in a couple and then of this was starting because uh, i couldn't finish watching the EA, but then i thought yeah i'll watch the nintendo one you away from that splat zone After. so i think being able but to yeah, take back still and, and apply that penalty to hey your is a huge part of the strategy uh, uh, in any splat zone game. Hold on. What's been interesting is our teams are taking the maximum oh, amount of time in between matches yeah. to talk strategy. So obviously we Sorry, see how competitive like, it is here. Now, is and you're learning and applying I things. Maybe the last match you want to take to the next uh, I'm glad that you mentioned the last match the last most How's it going? This set is actually another tower it's kind of tired right now. I don't know why. I'm just watching this. Up, 
we probably aren't gonna win that one. So good. Mako, Mark, we got you doing? FT you doing in good? And a line Great. Broke in blue here on your map. Yep, I'm doing all right. Pretty good myself. Well, again, the tenth umbrella coming out of gray. This one is it's one of the new weapons for the four hours. Since I'm watching it, you play it earlier. Then start watching this because it was already starting. Oh, you were still going on. If I was gonna be over before this, but nope, they're still going until two. Two central standard time. My God, this. Oh, jeez. These two teams. There we go. They got penalty. They're out of the principal's well, office here, and they're getting ready to pad their lead at this point. You've uh -oh. got a couple of backliners on each team here, Nine. But oh man. Oh. 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 Editing the videos and uploading on my, on my YouTube channel. Really utilize those specials here to push, and that's what they do. Oh, I don't know oh, if I was playing the game yeah, whenever I can right get around to it really again. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this so game. Came out of that just because now Alliance Rogue had three specials and then they lost a couple yeah. of them. And trying to create like content on YouTube or whatever, or whatever. it's just it's not easy, it's hard. Well, this is so often what we see at Platinum. Oh, uh, man. Whoa. Coming back in, trading lead, and then they lose it. What is this miss? Oh, the crap. Don't take anybody on the other team out. Oh. When you flip the zone, but you don't well, get the lockout the phase started. But again, we're seeing the exact same thing that we've seen again and again. But I think that Alliance Rogue is pushed up here. What's, a, than what's they it called again? This might Alliance be a chance to take a position. And you see the penalty really slowing down the My progress God. of both teams at this point. Because as oh. that score gets lower, that penalty is going to get higher. Oh. Nice play by Ice on Grey. Let's see if FT win can seize control. No. My God. Oh. Uh, oh. My God. Oh. Back, back and forth. Oh. Who's the? Yeah, they're also doing a really good job of staying uh, on the high ground. They're they're doing a really excellent job. It's like all over the place. Oh. I mean, that was a trade, but you know what? If you can take out Kyo, that's really good. They're just taking each other out, back and forth. Uh oh. Oh. Once again, let's see if a line broken battle back. And oh my then God. they go ahead and grab the oh. zone, but this is where the penalty starts to come into play here. Nine is our timer. Oh. It's now right around two minutes left. It Three is in two minutes to be an eternity in flat zones because that timer moves oh, faster what? than the point you see at the top oh. of your screen. This checkpoint needs to be taken wow. by this bomb rush. I think that the umbrella might be enough the to slow down here. Maybe Alliance. not. One gets his knife down Ooh. in the air. This is going to be the lead Alliance, back the other way. Alliance Road, that's what it is, right. This is going back and forth. To overcome, so it is up for grabs. Can FT win apply the penalty at this point? Mm. They do. Now they've got to hold on and try to lock out. They haven't been as successful with it as Alliance Road has been, and Alliance uh -oh. Road once again has oh. been taking the lead, but it's 3 1 on the map. FT oh my wins. gosh. Oh man, that was uh, <laughs> this is going to be really tough for Alliance Road uh -oh. here. This is going to be really tough for oh, them, but geez. they might be able to pull it out. They have enough time. What? And nine, how about this? You don't see splat zone matches going. Oh, it's my favorite move. It really speaks volumes to how evenly matched mm. team. It does, and at this point, if you want to see the action. Just look at the special meters on the top of the screen. That's what's dictating everything. One of the That's hard to say, to be honest. They haven't, and getting that forced all the way back oh, is the reason that happened. And you hear the roar of the crowd as FT Win claims control of the lead once again, and they are finally locking out a line. new. Here comes the Stingray. Uh oh. 14 seconds away from a Looks like FT is going to win. Super Smash Bros. I love Super Smash Bros. Whoa, what the heck? Holy However, cow! That penalty is going to be huge, actually, because they are running out of ticks Look on the this. clock. They are definitely running out of time, and they need to go ahead and lock them out. They're going to have to keep this. Yeah, I could say Smash Bros, but I don't know, kind of been mixed with that series ever since. It's like a, a series I like, like really love, yet kind of like a love-hate relationship with Smash Bros. Ah, there's something I don't like about, but there's something I've always liked about it. 
victory yeah. there. A line throw gets time for one more push here. They've got to build that special uh -oh. see two more of their players. Right oh, up there. God. Here comes the Whoa. Bowler. Oh, but how about MG win? There's mayhem in the middle here. Not They're going to win. It looks like oh, it. Oh, shoot. Right over, over what the heck? Overtime? Right now, it's going to be so important that the remaining players huh? of FG win can hold this position. They don't know he's huh. there. Judy has to get this pick. They were one second away from the match ending, but Alliance broke down. Oh, Fortnite. Yeah, it's been a while since I played Fortnite. Uh oh. Can they do it? Hold on. Oh, oh. 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 What the yeah. heck? Oh my gosh, what an amazing comeback. I when mean, I for play Fortnite, I tend to like play that, Save the I, World. This, like, I, it's so good. It's so I mean, good. I don't know if it's all right, but I don't know. I haven't played as much as I play the right Save now. the World. You see the but I still play it from time to time. You know where I can. Yeah. I mostly play it around the seasonal events. I mean, not, yeah, pretty much. That might be the single greatest game of Splatoons I've ever seen <laughs> back and forth. Big play Cause they had so many other. I thought that it was over. Kimmer went down with Splashdown cover. with about 20 set. Or I'm and sorry, I said, Booyah oh, Bob. I think I that's that it. was it. Yeah. But for no. them to have the tenacity to come back in with about oh, that's just a, a few seconds that's left. Everyone doing on there. the map turned to the Splat Zone and said, let's hit the trigger as fast that's... as we can. We've got to paint it. And that is the thinnest edge that you can One second left in regulation. Oh, my epic username. And Alliance Rogue able to steal the zone. They overcome True. a penalty and take the victory in overtime. Mm. That's huge because now they take a 2 1 advantage mm. in our semifinals. It's the first one to three. I which don't means think we I'm can set for our next ranked mode here. We just got done with Splat Zone. That means we're going to have a little rain coming know. up here as well. It's the same so name here, but I don't think I'd have here, anything to turn to you and very such. Quickly if you're the team that isn't Since able to I barely match played that yes, game, to be honest. Very, very quickly because but, all you have yeah. to do as the Easier it's all good. Course, <laughs> yeah. Take the As when you said trade, I wasn't sure what goal. quite what you're you talking about because I haven't quite played that game <laughs> enough and to, to get what you were talking about when you said trade. Again, Unless there's something new in the game I haven't seen yet, yeah. The principles that we talked about in tower control apply here too. You want to play up ahead of the rainmaker because though the rainmaker does have a very powerful burst shot. It doesn't move very quickly. It does mm. mean that you're kind of a sitting duck when you have it. It's going to be on the rest of the team to make the big push. So as we saw in tower control, they're going to wait until they get yeah. one or two squid advantage before they make that push. 2-1 Alliance Rogue has the advantage in the semifinals thanks to a last second come from behind victory in overtime in splat zones. They're getting set for Rainmaker here yeah. in about 30 seconds. And you're so emotionally charged after a match like that. It seems like both teams need to sort of refocus and not get too caught up into what just happened here in a second nine as they get set for Rainmaker. Yeah, at this point, the last game never That's happened Rainmaker. for FT win. You just say, all right, we were a oh, second Oh, Rainmaker, they didn't game. do Rainmaker now, yet. On to this one. I do think that Rainmaker I don't remember them doing Rainmaker. Like they have been the ones that have been more aggressive, no. and I think that that's going to be exactly what they need. Because Rainmaker Inkblot Art Academy, there's really only one way you can go. There really is, and it's a matter of being able to take out the opponents on the high ground here, Ashley, because you want to use that undulation, like that difference in height to your advantage. But if you four lose pivotal spots here, in I don't know if I'm going to have to have a clear stop the stream at some point day, just yeah, because of the VOD it itself, and then restart right, it. And I don't know if I might do that or not, but then again, no. Alliance Rogue, one yeah, we'll victory see. away from taking on the GG boys in the finals. However, FG win from but, North America. Nah, They're right. represented in the green. They want to push this baby to a game five. Like that. Nine, what you see it here. Well, I'm mm. seeing pretty much the same composition that's come out of FT win here. They, <coughs> they have to be comfortable with where they're playing. They know they were so close. Oh, but God. Here is bringing out the first of they're the already going at it. Here. Last year at this time, it was a dominant weapon. As Shaq comes over and says, what are you talking about? I'm playing oh. a dominant Ooh, weapon right here. Oh. Advantage FT win. That's going to be My huge God. for the Rainmaker forward. 4-1. They're <laughs> looking for the clean wipe. They have the Rainmaker. Oh, man. The spawn of what the Rogan. heck? Actually, Alliance Rogue going to have to play some defense here very Quick. Absolutely. I mean, they did uh -oh. not want to have that full wipe. So oh. if you saw one of those players jump right what? back to base because they yeah, said, you know what, let's just reset. 
Let's compose ourselves. Let's get back out Jack's got the rainmaker. Has to avoid the onslaught. Oh, almost oh, had the freeway open, but the toll booth was closed. Gets splatted right there. Yeah, maybe the that's an act. Yeah, well, for what I've seen in these matches, it looks, looks like that. It looks that way. Right, and honestly, getting to this point this early in the game poets very well. After these two matches, it's like they've been going, going back and forth constantly. Yeah, I think that's a really good strategy for them. Huh. They're gonna, like you said, they're gonna wait oh a little boy. bit, get a couple of splats here before they start pushing forward. Uh -oh. Nine, you look at where you can maybe hit the rainmaker here to make it very difficult for Alliance oh. Rogue to mount the comeback. Any thoughts about Man. that? Well, I think the wall they're at right now is where it needs to happen, but they've waited a little bit too long and they've allowed Shaq to move up here. This so is get oh. one more pick, that might have been it, and they do Dude. get some more points out of it. And again, what the heck? means a lot at this level. As Q uh -oh. actually pops the splash down by himself, uh -oh. which has bubble just to at least slow this push down. Oh, man. 70, you see some suction bomb, burst bomb, oh, flat bombs, and torpedoes deployed <laughs> right now. Every self-weapon you can think of. Huh. Ten to missiles ready to go. Back and However, forth. My God. Like, Yo, you see the one oh. shot splat as well, too. The constant pressure by FG win, you called it out, Nike. There's the aggressor in this one, and it is showing. They're just Jack taking each other out, out back and forth. And said, no, the pressure's not my done. God. Even eyes of the sky, my friend, we are not done. And once again, FG win claiming that Rainmaker, and Ashley just controlling the Rainmaker Ooh. this whole match, who made it difficult for Alliance Rogue to even focus on playing off it. They're on their heels. Yeah, they are absolutely on their heels here. This has been very difficult for them to get oh, any kind geez. of traction, even, even in the center of the map, not even in enemy territory. Uh oh. With the rainmaker trying to steal the wall nicely, the game there goes the rainmaker. <laughs> rainmaker in the middle of that wall. So oh boy. Down. Did it. Three advantage on the map alliance broke, but we know nine, we can never count them out. No, they can't. Oh, and right geez. now, the real change of dynamic here is that every time we see one stingray, the other one comes out. The time that this is going to shift for uh -oh. either one of these teams what? is when one of them doesn't Did have it. that all powerful oh. stingray to either make the push or slow it what? down. Four three on the map alliance broke. Once again, you look for that oh, player advantage God. on the map. They have the rainmaker. Maybe it. this is the chance where they can make a push here, Ashley. Uh -oh. Yeah, they're going to have to get a couple of really key picks huh? here. I would say. They can take out oh, the Obviously, that stingray is so brutal. My you don't need a dog, you don't need a security system, you just need a stingray. Two people did go down there at the start of that, though. So yeah. Ice was able to get that pick. You see that they're all there, and now Soren has his stingray and is going to be able to fire it at whoever they want. Oh, Ray is going to grab it here, and Shaq actually 102 v one there to slow that one down. Oh, that's huge right there. Shaq getting the oh, advantage dude, right there because seriously. they were in position to go ahead and push that rainmaker. You were too far above too far. Back and forth. The hey there. Hi. Right oh, hey, Haunted. I was trying to read who said that. How's it going, ha ha Haunted? Yeah, one of the things they just did was didn't talk right there for a little bit. Walk around a little bit. They danced around and then they took him out to the so that that on took a little bit longer. They had to wait a little longer to regroup. Shaq uh, tried to get the rainmaker. Yeah. Sure he's got a chance, but oh, no. Oh, oh, the oh, Lions broke with the splat. I'm doing the right thing. It's all about building specials. Maybe time for one more push here. Hmm. It is going to be time for one more yeah, push. Yeah, it's like, who said that? Trying to read the chat. My God. It's like, I will tell this. Morning, okay, and then it's like, why am I suddenly tired or something? So it's like, like streaming to a point where it's like you suddenly feel like you're tired after streaming for a long time, after just sitting down and not. I don't know, it's weird. After watching the EA play, and then start watching this. Yeah, look at that. My God, this is. Yeah, these <laughs> matches just neck and neck all over so each other. Because when the opponent is holding the rainmaker, you build special meter passively. It is so much easier to like, play defense tired as this a morning. result of that. And again, because the there's only one path that the rainmaker can go down, only you can three. focus all your defense three on one side. Can I just say... Of course. We're That's true. Kind of for four I mean, hours, almost five. Or probably be overtime. Or thirty. But actually, we saw nine calling out. Shaq with a couple of key. Yeah, four thirty-eight.
in order to protect in terms of like how long it's been live really allowed ft win to play some great defense yeah it really did so anytime you have well, two opponents bearing sure. down on you that is a really difficult thing to win and it really speaks yeah, to his skill work. level to be able to really work. handle the one right? in Jeff such, such a really easy looking manner. I mean, it's <laughs> not easy for us. I'm going to turn it in wrong. Let's take a look at the final 25 Hold seconds on. of this. Fix we that. saw almost a push yeah, by Alliance Rogue. But I said in two places at once. Yeah, I know. Nine take us through the last couple of seconds of this match. What we saw here, what actually really worried me was Urza getting the picks. I remember what it was. Oh, up time. You see the Stingray come out of Soren early, but that means that Ice got to fire his. I've been up time if you want. There, but that was going to be stopped That's by the mark up time. Ice got another pick just for fun. Let's go ahead and toss an assist on there. And that really That's, was the end of the yeah. game. And it speaks volumes it's to the, to the ability of these players to understand score and situation. You have a special build up, up that stingray. Time. You don't just go ahead and use it right away. You wait until the moment where it's most beneficial for your team. And I think the fact that Ice fired his second really Rocket was what changed that thing. Soren went early because it was on him Ooh. to blaze the path with that pick but i said all right you fire first that means i'm gonna get no, i don't think i have i'm gonna be able to take you out and at no. that point it's just a slow moving rainmaker that i'm not that i wouldn't game be interested semifinals, the like i've played that game, game a few times to, to take on the defending champion gg boys yeah. we have tower control up next and actually can't say i really have actually will come back in game three by alliance rogue ft win able to hold their water commands uh, does that work we do actually some more commands my god i have trouble with score start times yeah type in up time yeah see there you go like i said four hours uh, they're very good I'm not kidding. And they're, they're also Since I started watching EA play, play in this. Game four. So Alliance Rogue, I think, has a little bit more of an uphill uh, battle yeah. here to, to really take them down, but anything yeah. can happen. Harvey's like, I'm kind of concerned at how I'm going to edit this after downloading it and breaking it into segments when I take the VOD and try and upload it on YouTube or something. Like, how am I going to do that? Going back to the because of how it started and this started in the middle of it, the stream instead of restarting the stream to remove on but then again I could still that's fix that somehow they did it earlier with missiles they did it earlier with hmm. counter stingrays. yeah that's the outside the time that's the, that's what time game. is right now mm -hmm. the hello hey there Aaron hold on I'm trying to read that Aaron what he ate out is there another so way I can call you? Thanks for following! Oh, you're not going to get in the first sleep. Thanks for following! Aaron? I hope I said that right. What do you see from huh. out here, Nine? Well, this is you weapons that we've seen from both of these teams this entire time. They are the best here. Hello. I'm so tired right now. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, jeez. What the heck is going on? Oh, my God. What the Unbelievable display of individual skill there. There's like so much going on right now in the chat in this game. Like, what the heck? It's crazy. I'm trying to recoup off the chat. Emergency, so calm and tender. They need to stop this Tony right now and hand the trophy to. What the heck, man? What the heck, Link? My god. Yeah, my bot says stuff like that every now and then. Yeah, thanks for the follow, dude. Ah, just trying to keep up the chat and seeing this go on. Too much, like, chaos going on right now. It's only crap. Ah. Ah. Boy, is it hard to I was wide awake right this now. morning. Why am I like doing tired like right now? That's weird. Yeah, I did have breakfast yes, this morning. Of course. Nice of actually covering I had like eggs this morning. And that is really important when you're trying to 
just delay a little bit. Just, just delay them just, a, just a hair. Make them eat that turf so that they have to spend a little time there. This crazy right tournament. Alliance Rogue able to get back on the tower. That's big right there, Nine. They're trying to get to the Lord second checkpoint. They are down 3-2 and a great defensive stop by FT Win. It is, but you have to say for Alliance Rogue, you're happy with that Ooh. because you lost to the Stingray essentially in that situation. Uh. And that's what slowed that down, but you now have a much easier path to uh -oh. get there a second time. Win a couple times in this new freaking tower. Such a good point. That first checkpoint's out of the way. Uh oh, it looks like F2 is winning. Oh, like shoot. 240 left, 5936. Well, I'm confused with the score right now. We see a couple specials coming out trying to dislodge that stingray, uh -oh. Ashley. Sarn is so good at building up that stingray. It is outrageous. It's so Bro. fast. He has it so fast. Oh, and he uses it so well. Oh. Oh, is that what you were saying in the chat, Link? Like, emergency. Give it to him, the trophy. Oh, ha ha, that's funny. And just the way that they moved around uh, there, you saw, of course, Urza was looking at the tower. God. Shaq knew that and came around the outside. I don't know what level of coordination it takes to make a call like that. In the yeah, second, I need to put the mixer chat side by side along with the like multiple chats on screen. Then just move from one. Let's see if they can advance it. No, they lose the tower. They seize it back. Uh, Alliance broke uh -oh. all that they can to prevent the second checkpoint from clearing, and they again stop so much it going on. I, I am very impressed with the defense that's happening here, but you can oh see there's God. a lot of coordination on what is Crazy. being thrown at the tower. So a lot of Tenta missiles. You've got, you got Tenta missiles, you've got a stick rate all at the same time. It's a really great way to get everybody away from the tower. And now it seems like FT Wing can afford Ooh. to be aggressive because the tower has to return. But yeah. hold on to your tentacles. Alliance Rogue on My the tower. God. Pushing it into the second half of the map here shortly. And what FT Wing's trying to do is Ooh. get these small picks so that they can't get all four specials at the same time. They know that that is the only way they're going to lose My this. God. They're willing to trade if Ooh. it means they keep those specials away. Stingray trying to put a red light Ooh. for the tower at this point. Tower gets returned back on its track. Alliance Rogue pops back on top though. Two uh -oh. really Kipper getting splattered once again, flanked from behind. They're like tied right now. What's this? Hold on, sorry. I'm doing it. So focused on the game here. All when you rebuild the sub there, sorry, dude. Tower. You say right? your face is the fro, huh? Easy, right? Then why aren't you in the fro tournament? Huh? Oh, you used to play Splatoon? Oh, you sold your Switch. Huh. Why don't you sell your Switch? Oh. Okay. I didn't think there was an age limit. I guess to a certain extent, though. What? Uh-oh. Careful with mentioning your name on Mixer. Nine seconds left. Can't Dude, but I understand. Not sure why you would sell your final. switch, though. Oh, God. And that'll do it. FT win from North America. They win game five in the semifinals. They have the final to take they on won. the GG boys. And what they up? A two hey. Deficit, hey, are I mean, this is exactly hockey? what brought them here. They are so Hi. What's up? Just watching the. Game I keep win. forgetting they what it's really called. Nintendo 2019 really World well, Championship Tournament. That was a Splatoon 2 one. We just watched it just now. Because like, I've been streaming since like four, hour, for four hours. It's like, I, I really want to see the Smash Bros. one. But this one's, this one's crazy. This one. USA hockey, thanks for that follow. Oh my gosh. Seriously, the follows and this going on stream, I'm like, ah, too much going on. It's funny. Yeah, of course. That FT win will I'm, I'm just getting wild. I'm so, so tired right now. Not like that tired, but. It. Let's take a look at the bracket yeah. as we get set for like, finals. Come on, I had enough sleep. How about that? Five unbelievable matches between I FT win and Alliance Pro. That I like even woke up this morning. Swept Lime Soda. Swept the Ink Wolf. 
if I just been streaming like for Death four win. hours straight win, after watching the EA play because there's, there's very little any breaks in between Let, these, be this Steve tournament and EA play, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's barely any break in between watching EA play and this tournament. That's the thing. I thought I was going to end the stream and then restart it back up again once this tournament thing starts up. That's what I was going to do originally. One left on... Dude, 3,000... Oh, dang, really? Come into that final Ooh. and get out there. I didn't notice get that. Something done. It's not unreasonable. Thanks, guys. Remembering grand finals last wow, year, the three hundred dollars one way. So they drop a game. They could drop two. They could drop, three. they could drop the whole set right now. FT win yeah, I think I noticed a little bit of that a while ago, but I didn't well. know there how so many as of right now. Ever this is all well, I see on my screen right FT, now, except for my second display, which was where I read the chat and see OBS on my like, really reaction scene. That's why I call this scene right European here. This is my reaction scene, right where you see it's what I'm seeing right here, and just me reacting to it. Look at that trophy. on that trophy for a champion this year, but... GG boy standing in the way. GG boys. Someone's going to go up 2-1 in the set of sets. The tournament of tournaments right here. Here and, it goes. You know, this I, is I it. I have to wonder a little bit. GG boys winning with such ease. Ah, this did. tournament was insane. Waiting for, you know, the better part the of the The Super Mario Maker 2 Invitational Tournament. That was fun. It's a best of seven now. So we get even but more splits. This one is just insane. It's flat to 2 it's like half the time I had trouble understanding what was going on. It was like, what the heck? It's crazy. Well, I, I can tell what's going on, but at the same time, I'm just almost lost at some point. We're going to start with tower control also. And yeah. both these teams, it looks like it's one of their strongest modes. It definitely is, but I'm very nice. curious how GG Boys mm. is going. Are you, ta are you talking handle? about my... Not Really having a bad what are you talking about? Especially Sorry, with, you know, you've got ice back You're talking about with this, the reaction and scene? Like Hell, I have it set up. So I'm Chat really on the curious bottle. to see how they respond and what their strategy is. And then you figure we'll see some Yamamichi with the stick. Oh, yeah, the Tony, <laughs> right. Job, right. Sorry. <laughs> I got confused there. The yeah, the Tony. Well, it does look really nice. In seeing it. I like watching these tournaments. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like Halloween Horror Seasonal Events live stream back in 2018 so on Halloween night. Do you remember that stream? Or my Christmas Holiday Seasonal Events live stream. That was back in, that was like before New Year's Day or Eve on a... 2018. Those are on my YouTube channel if you're interested in checking them out. Those are past live streams. This is one where I'm reacting. This is actually my first uh, like live reaction uh, stream. Most of my reaction videos were just videos. This is the first stream where I did a live reaction instead of just a recorded reaction. Yeah, I didn't do any live reaction uh, streams before this one. This is the first one. What the heck? Holy crap, already? In the stream. Because most of all my reactions were reaction videos. They are all they were all recorded. This one's live. The first one I did live right now. Oh, dude. Asi aside from my live streams, so we're all seasonal events. Like the Halloween one, or Halloween right events, and different games, as many games that Halloween event in it, or Christmas, Christmas events, those really different games. Yeah, so, no problems with that. Those are some really big trades. It's, it gets really exhausting, all the editing. 
and trying to get it uploaded in time. I'm trying to adapt and trying to change up some things on how I've been uploading my videos or how I've been doing the videos in the first place. That all comes with a lot of practice and experience, basically. Um, I found some efficient way, at least, where I try and edit in a bulk, and edit a whole batch of videos, and then just upload them all at once, but don't make a lot. And then schedule, schedule each video to go public a certain date. I'm not gonna go to public all at once, don't wanna do that. That's what I do. That way I have like a little break in between as I wait, or not really wait, but as you schedule them, it becomes a little easier to edit. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. Jeez. My god. GG boys. Holy crap. Dude. GG boys are like, hold up. GG boy was, they were just, they were written through the tournament like no problem earlier. Now this may seem like the team they actually have a challenge against. They didn't seem like they had much of a challenge in the last previous matches. This one looks like a challenge for GG boys. Yeah, man. Man. Yeah. Yeah, well, there were so many people that were still up in the middle of the map that I can understand using it just That's to try to find yourself a little time and space. Right splatted. now, they've been losing their one point in the game. after what was a pretty shaky opening. Yeah, look at that. Win. The tower Yo, back there. My gosh. Yep, USA. Our country might win and beat Japan in the World Championship. Yeah, this is a World Championship. Everybody who didn't know. Seems like Japan needed a good challenge, yeah. Which AU wasn't giving them. They finally got a bit. Yeah, I know, exactly. That's what I thought. I was like, what the heck's up with this team? No one's gonna, is nobody gonna slow this team down? Damn. Jeez. My god. That's like 50 and 9. Uh oh. Unable to escape that, and now it's 4 3 on the map. Yeah, it is intense. It's good. Well, this has been really scary. This is similar to traditional sports where one team is holding Seems to be for a long time. Warming, warming up, though. Of this game. And you figure it's just a moment before yeah, it looks like I guess slips. so. And that pick right there might have done it. Yamamichi on the tower using the stick right. It's uh -oh. 4 2 GG boys. Another stick right coming back. Oh! Uh oh! Get out the club, Yamamichi. Get out of there. What? What the heck? The GG boys continue to apply pressure. They're right by the tower. My God. Yeah. The controller. My God. This might be some very crucial ink armor. Should allow. Yeah, the tower. Uh oh. Oh snap. Oh. Oh. Dude. Dude. I bet. I mean, it, it, like what the heck? I mean, they've been backstage waiting, watching. Ooh, sure. Oh, and you thought it was over time. Waiting. My and, and now God. FT wins got some momentum. They're I can only imagine how the Smash Bros. one's gonna, gonna, gonna go. This next game, ready to go. The determination or a party the communication. Game. The look on the face of yeah. FT win. They are confident that this is something that they can take from the GG boys. Let's look at a couple of highlights here, Nine, as you walk us through some of the action. So Good. many pivotal points in this match, but Right now, well, I mean, I said party game, really like party to the creator and himself. This is, I think, the, the telling story like, it's the community, the community that tried turning it into a competitive game. Control, when the creator the just wanted to be a party the game. Play, they say, to heck with your control. We're yeah, and then it's like they got to a point where they kind of just 
that is why they were able except to push the fact were, that the majority of the community likes said, trying to play it that way so it tries to make the game so we're it's just trying to make it enjoyable well, for everybody the so there they can play it however way they, the they would like to play it because the game is designed to just be played where there's no right or wrong way you can play smash bros you play it in so many different ways it's designed to to be played in a variety of different ways on however way you so choose to is you customize how you want to play uh, and it's he's got a way to respond you're not as customized the ways you play that game it's just man let's take a look at our next rank that's who's trying to do a seven game one going to ft win from north america as you said nine gg boys might not be sweating this loss in tower control they know that they've got some other modes where they might be favored we have Rainmaker 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 now. coming up here next and what's My interesting God, is we still have that many games oh that's the seven are you kidding me Rainmaker, what we saw my god oh how team, long is this gonna be this tournament was almost over you will and i've been streaming for four hours man surely they'll give a break in between the smash bros one right bro like a vast a bathroom break you know what i mean before smash bros and my we God. haven't talked much about the sub abilities that oh, man. right now. Is there anything that this you're seeing these teams that might be turning the tide of the map or speaks volumes to their strategy possibly? Anytime you use a Kensa Splattershot Pro, which is one of the most yeah. popular weapons Kyo has been using, Small so using it earlier as well. to set up things. Yeah, exactly. I'm probably going to go to the restroom and such. I'm going to put the stream on like, be right back. Ashley Hump Hump back. Nine made a good point. There's really no place to hide in this map. Yeah, I wonder so how I'm gonna edit this in the, in the part segments. How many parts will this stream have? Probably like. We've got Rainmaker. I don't know. I've had, I had a stream that had like 13 segments, 13 parts to it. Because it was an eight hour long stream. That was one of my, uh, that was, I think that was, no, that was a Halloween one, a Christmas one. It's actually the Octo Brush Nouveau. This is another weapon that we almost never mm. see in competitive play. Uh -oh. The Octo Brush itself is great. Oh, jeez. My God, already. You know, you have a Stingray. Kicking it off. Whoa. Empty win with an early lead of the Rainmaker. But that not mean. much going on there because this is Humpback Pump Track. And anything can happen for the most part. 2D with some Ink Storm ready to what? go. Trying to provide some saturation on this map at this point. 4-4. Four, four. Yep, five hours. Advantage on the map right now. Fighting for mid. Yep, Stingray coming out. Five once hours. again, the 2D backpedals, and Ashley, once again, the Stingrays can do so much in controlling the map on this stage. I mean, I yeah, haven't seen any press conferences yet. These are just like it's little tournaments and little so just gameplay footage from EA. That's all really it's really been. EA, EA didn't have a press conference this year. That, surprisingly, Sony's not at E3 this year. What the heck? Dude, oh snap! Getting to 21, how does that fare on this map? I mean, I think this makes the job so easy as Shaq gets around for a fight. Oh, he might be able yeah. to win the game right here. He oh, wow. What the heck? Everything what I was about to say, multiply it by a little bit, and it's still the same here. This is a very this passive match. composition that the GG boys are running. Oh, God. What they're trying to do is be able to target Isis Stingray, and then still oh. have another one to play with the long, narrow path that that Rainmaker has to travel. It's interesting that the oh, GG man. boys are adapting to the FT win strategy. Meanwhile, FT win is just going what works best for them as well too and you see it's working oh well God. the gg boys finally on the map right here rainmaker stuck at the bottom oh God, you lost it. Point. Ice doing a nice job of negating you that lost it. Right ready to go there's a look at your map three three on the field three yeah, minutes it's final the final match of time, but now FC win finals you've got the lead you start to think about playing defensively uh something out of seven yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, at this point oh, that's geez. what you want to do but it's one making that really it's like everywhere uh, and, and that double thing right my there, God. That, You've got two players, one can focus on taking out Ice, and the other one can focus on taking out three other players. Take my Rainmaker, yeah, do it, do it. Oh, they got it. Uh-oh. 
of FT win. That's Juju boys. And this is finally where the strategy oh, snap. Oh, they they lost it. Immediately went with the double Just like that. Rate. And that's actually going to be able to get a couple here, so they're going to get a chance to push. If Taiji wins the 1v1 and he's God. not able to, they might have been able to push up a little more. But you look at their composition, yeah. they just don't have that many aggressive weapons. They're relying very heavily on Stingray. It's such a good point. Yeah. They need the specials and long range in order to get too. those blasts for FT win. They love the aggression. They will get up in your face and challenge you. That Rainmaker 2D's got an escort and a little bit of room to go. Uh oh. He's trying to negate things. Here comes yet another oh, 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 snap. What the heck? Dude, seriously? What the heck just happened there? Now they just have to be a little bit patient here and GG boys once My again on their God. Oh. Well I can't say enough how nice it is. The reason that Ice seems to always be winning these Rainmaker uh these stingrays is because he can be reactionary. This is crazy. Speaking of reactionary, the crowd reaching a few oh, all right. oh, okay, that's what you mean. See you later, Haunted. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Exert, yeah, thanks for stopping by, Haunted. See you and later. From an advantage. Yeah, My god, this is whole map a mess. It almost looks like turf war. Then I mean, win. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah, this way. Oh, jeez. Three two on the field. Gigi boys, they have a lead with one to zero. Oh my god. Hit the missiles to dislodge everything. And now it's two one. How about FT win trying to hold their water at this point? I mean FT went to work really hard right now to be able to hold those. Well, GG boys are really doing a great job. That was a great pick. Excellent pick right there. Now we reset just a little bit. They can take a chance. Plus at the end is hard. The 2v1 FT win really riding those to this lead at this point. Rainmaker still in the territory of FT win. GG boys, you got less than 30 seconds left. You have to make something happen now. 2D getting the splat. Starting to move forward here at this point. 20 seconds left. Rainmaker up for grabs at this point. 4-2 on the map, FT win. They can close this out. They'll take a commanding 2-0 oh, lead in this best of seven. Dynamon and the troops trying to uh -oh. get their push together. Is it, the oh, snap. Oh. 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 When this team is playing at their best, it is hard to stop them. Not even Ooh. the defending champs can right now. Both games have started the same way. It's Jeez. a matter of getting an early lead and then continuing to protect it and play defense. It's so My much job. easier to play defense. And again, I think the most important moment <laughs> there, when the GG boys were in command and looked like they might get a pick, well. Ice dove down and traded his little squid for two of theirs. The fact that he was able to get two with one jump, I think, is what stopped that oh push in the track. Huge pick. Huge pick. And honestly, like, I think uh. you mentioned the double stingray is almost a really conservative approach that you can take during Rainmaker. And it felt like if you're going to uh. take that approach, you cannot get splatted. Because if if you're being conservative with an aggressive team like FT Win, they get, a, they get one pick on one stingray, it's, it's off to the races. And it's such a good yeah. point, Nine, because I've you were talking about the competition you saw from GG Boys in the beginning. And this is a team that's known to be aggressive. We're going with some rather passive weapons here. Do you think if you're the GG Boys, you maybe change your strategy and go yeah. back to your old, much more hyper-aggressive ways? Oh, I don't know God. if hyper-aggressive is the way I'd go, but I do think that... I don't think the double backline is going to work for them right now. This has become a battle of trying mm. to control that which cannot be controlled. And the other thing that we really need to just look at, they're a control-oriented composition that is trying to play mm -hmm. from behind, and that is not where that type of composition can succeed. 2-0 right. advantage FT win. Let's take a look at our next rank mode mm -hmm. coming up here. We've already seen some tower control, some Rainmaker. Clam Blitz coming up here in nine as you go ahead and gaze into yeah, the future this of this one. What are we going to see from Clam Blitz on this next map? Well, this is Snapper Connect. Oh, you thought I had a second camera? camera? There's a lot of room you can move on the left and to the right huh? side, which means that's that funny. the weapons that can paint better in the more yeah, I have a second camera. Why would I have a second win, camera? That's FT win right now. Yeah. They're the more aggressive composition. They're the ones that's that are going to be able to build up the clams at a quicker pace. What's amazing to me, Ashley, is that FT win was staring a 2-1 deficit in the face. Best of five. They had just oh been upset God. on spot oh, at the last second. 
How about their resolve? They've won four straight games. I see the Zuzu I mean, inside is, uh, my score pot. It's not like we've seen. It's not like we haven't seen comebacks like this during the. Yeah, this see, I can see the sparks inside my score chat. And the path to it have been full score of pot. crazy upsets. I can see them inside I mean, the chat and score Australia, pot. Australia, New Zealand, West Lime Soda come back from that 0-4 deficit. I mean. They're unstoppable right now, FT win. The Splatoon Sterling Squid, just two games away from FT yeah, win. However, yeah. the GG boys, if you want to talk about a team yeah. that won't quit, that's them. But nine as they're still up in the chat on Scorpot. This might the hands of FT win. They're going to be in the blue. Sparks. Meanwhile, GG Sparks. boys with the hand in the green. And it's all about managing that clam economy on the map. But what we've seen is a very determined, yeah. confident yeah, result. Yeah, fucking fair on the wall, right? A little bit of couple of changes in their lineup. Yeah, we're seeing Etna go ahead and switch back over yeah, to the umbrella. Oh, and on the other side, we see the ballpoint slap that is coming no. out of Ice, who has had the tournament of it's his life so right. far. There's no camera in the bottom right. It is a little bit more mobile of a backliner here, so again, the focus on it's mobility. It's just the chat. On the other side, Chat's though, on the bottom right. Saying, now this is a bigger map. Now we can control it a little and more. And the, the alerts appear on the bottom left. A couple of squid beacons below me. Well too, so my head is like right here. Over, with the alerts the right here. And the right chat like Already, over there. The and the what? Over. No. How do I? But that's going to help this more here. than anything else. The GG boys finally taking the this early the, lead know, in the game. Yeah, the reaction to well, what I'm seeing. Reaction to it. Pretty much. Reaction. That's funny. How the heck do I have a second camera? A second display, though. He can advance behind the defenses of MC Wint. He's got a power clam ready to go, but you know you can't hide with it. Everyone knows where you're at. More clams being dropped onto the field here, and you see a power clam for each game. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Speed uh -huh. one with the baller. Uh -huh. Ballers. 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 Oh, 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 what the heck? Jack getting another pick oh. right here. He's going to just try to distract the anyone heck? who has that higher ground. He's going to come down oh, to an easy pick on the Taiji. That's going to be the lead, oh, and geez. it might be a lot more if they don't play this well. Yeah, they are tied right now. I can see that. Three point lead over the GG boys to get that one extra clam, and uh -oh. that is huge because you look at the penalty. And oh, they're the still FG tied. Window, they've got what the, the lead. It's going to take so one power clam, though, for the GG boys to come back. God. Not too bad right there. Not too much damage on that side. It's still up for grabs either team, and you mentioned the use of the squid beak. It's helping teams move around here, but actually, yeah. in the middle of this map is going to be so important right now. Uh, I, think this really I think this stream is really going to turn right. into an it eight has, hour stream. Really I don't know. My god. At this point, the GG boys are just trying to slow down the pace of the game because FQ win is <sighs> so, so out there for fun. My god. Boy, they get a power clamp into the back. They now have good the heck ever, man. This team. Look at that. Oh, snap. Yes, FT win. Right nice Dude, boys. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Huh. Really the close to be a clam blitz. Yeah. Otherwise, we'll take points. Yes, definitely. I see what you mean. Clam blitz. To match the power score clam. Of Look at that. Or at least two power oh my god. And then some help, and we know how good a bunch of clams in this game so far. But we see two those power clams. clams on the map here. FT win with a chance to make a push. Here the clams. Yeah, Ooh. FT win taking out a Tona, who is probably the closest to a special Big with storm. the exception of Yamamichi. But once oh, you baller, that, not the baller. The baller is going to baller here again. Oh boy. Way down, and he's oh, really uh -oh. back square one. Oh shoot. With the baller, oh. gets the power clamp, gets it in the basket, Ooh. and here's the window of opportunity for FT Wynn. Can they get some help and get some the more points barrier. here? Here comes yet another power clamp, super jumping in, but how Lock about up. Dynamon with that big oh, clamp? Oh, snap. It is. Shaq might be able to get a lead get here. No, he was not able to collect a clamp. 2 is going to add one oh, more. Oh, God. At the very Dude, what the heck? What the heck? What is this? What the heck? Sorry, my, my mouse. Trying to control my mouse. Keep FT win 
pinned back, or at least I thought so before Shaq One minute left. It's like neck and neck. Oh, huge pick right there. Dude, Four what the frick's up with these dudes? They've got to hold on to a one point lead. Oh, oh snap. Boys, they need a couple of power clamps in order to recapture the lead here. 30 seconds left. MT win to 30 take seconds. 25, 24, 23. Oh, jeez. Oh, 22. Well, uh oh. 20. Actually, 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. 15, 15, 15 14. 13. Both of you don't have the same penalty. Yeah, they do. What the heck, man? Dynamon's got a power clamber. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, 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 Ashley, your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are that this baby in me is freaking out right now because I just freaked out. What the heck? Hey, that baby was crazy. In me. I can't believe she just we just said saw that. that. That was so amazing. I mean, these last seconds snatched from the jaws of defeat victories are oh, always God. my favorite thing to see. I just shook nine probably harder than I should ever shake a human being in my life. That was my incredible God. and a true testament to how just how good GG boys are and how they will fight until the last possible second. Let's take a look at a replay from that exhilarating match that we Listen. saw there and Nine, go ahead and walk us through what we My saw in the split of the power here. Well, I think that Etna got insane. the pick there on the splashdown in mid-air. It was either that or Yamamichi, but oh, that allowed football. them to move up. You see that everyone else had rotated over to stop oh, it's a this clan. push. Like he's saying it as a football. Up. There's actually not even much resistance Ooh. on that side. Shaq I'm tries to go in, up. but you're not going to be able to take down Abrella by yourself. Yamamichi with the I power clam filling in a couple of clams and for some reason sounds pretty good to me. Big that victory was. GG yeah. boys, if you don't make that play at the end of the match, you're down 3-0. Ah. You now have to sweep FT win to try and reclaim the championship oh, again. Man. But because you get that victory, it's 2-1 and you're back in the game. Oh yeah, I mean this is a great way for them to reclaim <laughs> momentum, to get a little confidence rolling into the next vote, which is going to be really fun to watch. I think this yes. is going to really, this might be a, a very yeah. pivotal game Xbox, in, in our tournament. And I think that one of the uh, other things that's most important about getting that win is Splat Zone is Japan's fun? best mode. Oh. They invented yeah, I can the see the stickers. Tried to emulate as best we can. So I can see the sparks inside the score fight chat. Let's see where the rest of our destinations are in this best of seven finals. It's 2-1 favor of FT win of North America. Oh my the god, GG now it's Splat Zone again. Come from behind victory. We see that Splat Zones is next. It's mm. also back to back here, Nine. So here's a chance. Yep. Two splat zones. Round snow. Yep. Here's a chance That's for them to go up potentially. Tony could be decided here. To our final modes. And so you've talked about the competition level. Sure Actually, looks we're like it. it right here. These teams are so well My balanced. My God. They are so well balanced. They are so calm under pressure. And oh, jeez. That is really, to me, what separates the highest tier players. You can hear me okay, right? Sometimes the front lines are in our own backyard. They don't get salty. I mean, they're just like, you know what? Uh-oh. I got this. Hold on. I'm one of the best in the world. No problem. What is that? Ah, hold on. I got something going on here. Hey. They want to make this is your Well, that stop it, freaking. Oops, he's overheaded now. Yeah, this move back out of there. Like there was an accident. You can see here, you talk about trying to fix what was going on there. Any map, I think the long range that they have might tilt it in their favor. Lace up your J's. That was accidental. Go be arena as we get set here. You've got the GG boys in green. FT win from North America in the purple. It's 2 1 Did advantage. I? FT win with the GG yep, boys. Well. The side I don't know what that was. Once Sorry. Again, Let's go back. Uh, I was trying to change what that was. It was an ad. Yeah, right Twitch forcing ads. I know. I just backed out of that. I think when that happens. They're saying, Let's push I have two in tabs open. I gotta close my tabs. Bad timing. Will it interrupt me? Was that Nintendo would stream to Mixer already? 
point since they're coming out. Yamamichi's gonna scurry away as that mm. tent of missiles gets deployed and Ice once again using the Stingray, but oh, they, they don't stream the mix for yet. No, they finally oh, you're talking about how the down Xbox down app being on uh, uh, the Switch, being the mixer, mixer streaming thing is gonna go to the Switch. It's on the Xbox. And say the Xbox app and everything. Yeah, I mean, if they have that penalty, huh. they go ahead and lock them out. Don't let them apply a penalty to them. They're going to be in a very, very good position. This one might be streaming from Mixer. My God, this match. And that's the big thing right there. The fact that they got a 3-2 advantage means they're going to be able to push all the way up. Kill wisely running back here, just making sure that no one's coming around the flank. He has a bomb rush. He knows that they're about to have all four specials up they should be able to take this without too much trouble that's a very good point you see the flashing oh god icons at the top looks like it specials ready to be deployed by ft win oh man they've got the four two advantage what happened what's going on here they're going to control now oh my gosh three minutes left ft win trying to lock out the gg boys they've got a two one advantage but the gg boys early on actually have controlled this entire oh dang they have but I don't know. I mean, they've got a couple of specials going, but it's possible that that one pick just right then, that might actually not be a good thing for uh -oh. GG Boys. A couple of bubbles coming out. GG Boys, they take the zone. 230 left. Plenty of time left. Both teams with a hefty penalty as well, too. Oh, Ouch. Jack getting splatted. Man. Those tent of missiles. Dude. And the GG Boys, they huh. are really stepping up this stage. They're right. they are, And this is why the long-range composition works on a map like this. Notice they're able to continue painting the zone without putting themselves in danger. How they change things, things up there. Go with the double bomb rush composition because they know that that's the case. But sometimes you've got to have a little more range than that. GG Boys out of uh -oh. the penalty boxes. They're four to two. Yeah. Now they're just 17 Whoa. seconds away. Oh. Win. What the heck? This. Uh oh. Oh God, no! Look at that. Oh. Oh. Yep. Wow. Let's take it. a 3-0 deficit in the face, have now won back-to-back -back games to tie this thing up at 2-2. We're at least in game six here at nine. We are, and thank goodness for that. I was a little worried there at the start that I was going to have to break out the broom. That will Dang. not be the case. But if you are FT win, you can say, all right, that was the worst oh possible draw we could have done. <laughs> that was a map that favored their composition on a mode that they are supposed to be best at. I don't think they're losing too much sleep over that one. And you're right, FT win, they put up quite a fight during that match, Oops. even though the GG boys seem to always control the zone. And Ashley, mentality-wise, you were up 2-0. You lose another close game. You feel like you should have won if you're FT win. Now it's 2-2, and you're going back to splat zones once again. Oh, What's your great. approach? Well, the nice thing is Double for FT Win is that they have just played a game mode. They're going to play again. Oh so they really ha understand what the strategy is for the GG boys. So they can say, okay, let's regroup. Huh? Let's figure out how we can, let's figure out is how we can shake up the strategy again. a little bit and also Could take, take back a little bit of that around As we said, Splat Zone's coming uh, up next, but also a different map, which might favor uh, a different composition here. Looks nine. like What it. are we going to see we'll in our see. second go-around of Splat Zones in this finals? Muscle My Forge God. Fitness, and this is a very oh, scary no. map to play it on here. <laughs> They're the big side. Some people call it the volcano. Yeah. You can come up, and it's a big, big zone as well. I think we're going to see some bomb rush, perhaps from both teams. But double baller, keep an eye out for that. That can flip the zone in a heartbeat. Well, I know you busted out some curls at Muscle Forge huh. Fitness earlier this morning, so it's looking great right there, my friend. And Ashley, the GG boys, they have to be feeling very confident now because you were down 2-0, you've taken the last two, and it's your game mode that you really love to see. Yeah, I mean, this is a really, this is really in their favor. And so it will be very difficult for FT Win to come out and Such win this one, especially tournament. if... Especially if GG boys can come out and really take that lead early, I think they have an what? excellent chance of holding that lead. And well, now that's look at the weird. For the GG boys and we Why would you see the first that? Of reacting to what FT win huh. was. It seems like the last two games they've just decided we're going to do what works best My for us. God. Right. And I think that the the mode changing into modes that they're more that's funny. allowed them to play that game. And I think that the fact that they lost those first two games and now get to go through three potential wins before they have to see either of those again gives them plenty of time to figure out what they want oh, to do. Shoot. This is a huge swing Oops. game right here. 2-2 two, two FT win versus the GG boys. Whoever takes this that? will be weird. just one win away from the championship. 
and this Splatoon Sterling Squid Muscle Forge Fitness. You've got FT representing North America in the yellow. Has it chat not been turned on screen? The blue loadouts nine. What do we got? That's weird. Well, I was wrong. There's not going to be a double baller. In fact, there's only going to be one baller on the map. Again, these teams hmm. are going with some more indirect ways to capture the zone. A lot of respect for each other right now. Like I can see the chat, but I guess it hasn't really been appearing on screen. Boys finally secure it. Let's see if they can maintain and provide a little bit of a lockout. They're up for uh -oh. already, actually, with FT win having to spawn back. Yeah, Look I mean, that. watching Ice jump away there, that was probably <laughs> a really good idea because it wasn't looking too good for him. So uh, they're going to have to re FT one's going to have to regroup. Yamamichi oh, already boy. out there with the stick. Inkjet, oh, Stingray, God, ready to go. So other specials for the GG boys, so nine are doing a great job of stacking their specials early on. They are, and they're willing to trade as many people as it takes to build this big lead, because we have seen how easy it is to flip a zone back, and as long as you're in the lead, you're okay with flipping it back and forth, because you know the penalty continues to stack. And that's such a good point. You can take the biggest pie, bite of the pie early on, mm. you don't have that penalty, but right now, FC win trying to lock out GG boys, GG boys trying to wrestle back control. You see the nice little 1v1 spot right there, and Shaq, Getting splatted as well, too. GG boy with a 3 2 advantage. Yeah, make it 3 1. <laughs> How crazy. about that? Ice goes all the way back. Mm -hmm. Kyo saying, I'm just going to take down whoever I can here. It's not like I was going to get much done anyway. So huh. I like that. And I like the fact that uh, they are continuing it's to fight. And that's actually a great way to continue to get your team spawned again. I love this overhead view. You see that they're trying to build there as much special meter as they can with very limited room uh, to do it. And they yeah. have the time to do it because the penalty's going down right now for GG boys. They're not improving on their score. FC went also with a very small penalty so they can afford to be a little bit more oh, patient geez. but the stingray from uh -oh. Yamamichi once again applying huh. the pressure and now the GG boy about 30 seconds away here actually from making oh, it 3-2 yeah GG boys right there Yamamichi taking out Ice they don't look like it oh they no they're FC gonna look looks like they could win so to be able to oh, take one of those off board was a really really big advantage my gosh alright FT win has got control of the zone their penalty's done now you see a sizable one for the GG boys FT win if they're gonna dig down deep and find something to apply some pressure against the GG boys now is the time to do it for the GG boys nine so calm so cool so collected timing the use of their special so well oh. right and I think that uh, going in really deep with this inkjet here might come back to bite side you're gonna try to hide away and actually gets the pick on to kill that's a big one fine taking that trade to ice there the frontline aggressor is gone and now they have a stingray that they can use to pick off ice with a little bit slower of a weapon than kill was you see that heavy splat oh, trying geez. to cover the zone but the stingray from Yama Michi continues to just dominate this matchup GG huh? boys almost out of the penalty they oh, man. It. they've got a couple of bubbles of my things god there as well too and now, uh, one second away, uh -oh. to lock it out. Here comes Kyo with the well-timed oh, no, they look like they're going to win. Control and apply a penalty. Oh, they God. Do. They're still in there, actually. Let's see if they can turn back. And turn it around, can they? Kyo is doing an amazing job oh, right now. Oh, my gosh. Two huge hits Holy right there. Cow. And that is going to give them a very, very nice cushion in which to, to pick up some points here. A couple of specials being built up for the GG boys. They're going to be ready to play some defense. FG win. Nine, you figure this is the time they have to lock out GG boys if they want to come back. Well. They have, and watch the staggers of the special here right now. They've already used two of them. The third one is going to go. They're going to try to make it feel like specials are coming all the time. One goes down and one jumped out. That's as good as two down. Let's oh, make it three as well. And they are again fine trading these points as they get another one there. A little bit of a little bit of a hiding squid there in the corner. Oh, but again, oh. they're okay making that trade because with just oh, one minute left, they know that they me. only have to do it maybe one oh, more time. Geez. And that's such a good point. They have control of the zone and the timer is ticking down now into SC win. You're up in the face against the ticking clock here. You've got to be able to seize control of this zone here soon with the GG boy. Couple specials ready to go. They're just five seconds away. Can yep. MC win? Yeah. The zone? They uh oh. Do. Oh, snap. Oh, the last second, one point away. And now they what? wrestle it back from the GG boys. Oh. And it's 4 3 on the no, map. They won. They they can write their own Looks like they're going to win. Flat zone matchup nine. <laughs> Kyo has oh, kept the boy. game alive for them twice. He won a 1v2 earlier. He had a splashdown to meet the bubbles. His yeah, I tried to refresh the, the chat. I noticed it wasn't appearing up on screen. Team to keep in this match. Huge stingray from Flash coming out right now. Oh, and gets a uh -oh. splash. FT win just oh, three three seconds Dude, away. this is insane. Are they going to turn it around? On the map here. What the heck? Ashley, they might what get the heck is this? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is amazing. It looks like... Dude, you just won. He's gonna do his best here, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. Oh, 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 o
defensive stand of the uh, tournament here, Nine. They did it with no heck? specials. They did what? that without a single special. Taiji's right there was not used at all in that oh, push. Wow. I cannot believe it. To see a, a Juju push, boy is one. at the end of the game when the opponent knows we just have to hold it for a My handful of seconds God. and to get it without needing a single special might be the best. Look at this with, from Taiji. I mean, this is amazing. He gets in there. Kyo gets taken what out of the heck, right man. there, giving that support that's needed, and they're able to take that right back. Oh, my gosh. The 2v1. As you said, ridiculous. no special required. Just special ability from these that players. That was ridiculous. The boys almost losing a splat zone, which would have been a huge nah. steal of a game by FT Win. You look at what this team is able to do. GG boys now winning three straight games. They're one away from repeating as champions. But Ashley, it's the two game modes My coming up here that FT Win has already won. They have right. They've already won these two game oh, modes. I mean, they're man. coming in. They can say, they "I think I'm confident here." And as we've talked about, even if yeah. they win this, you know, if they win this, tower control might be theirs because, oh as you were God. saying, nine GG boys, that might be their worst mode. It might yeah, be. Rain they could not have asked for Let's a better see. rainmaker map. This is Kelp Dome Rainmaker right here, a fairly infamous map in the Splatoon community, but it is also the easiest map to defend. They're going to be able to stack two stingrays, three stingrays if you want. There's only one way the Rainmaker's going to push. But you have to have the lead in order to defend. And what we've seen from FT Win is their ability to take early leads. But in these last three victories, oh it's been God. the GG boys that have gone out first. If it's you're FT insane. Win, how important is it for you in this one to take the early lead and take away the defensive advantage for the GG boys? I think it's a requirement. Oh I think that if they gosh. have to play from behind, that will play exactly into how the GG boys want to play. If the GG boys get a really lead, I don't think FT Win. Splatoon trophy. GG Look at that trophy. Game away from Man. Games onto the Splatoon Sterling Squid once Oof. again. However, FT win. Oh, they God. won Rainmaker earlier in this best of seven. They want to take game six and give all of us a game seven here. The crowd's been fantastic. Man. I know that this is what they've been looking for. Crazy. At least a game six here between two of the top squads in the world here, Ashley. Any pressure on any one of these teams at this point when you look at a game six here between these two? Both of them. I mean, this is <laughs> both My of them. Gosh. And, and, you know, you've got FT win. They got to come out swinging. GG boys have to do the exact same thing. I mean, this is, this almost feels like the real pivotal. I mean, th this, is, yeah. this is it for me. Like, whoever wins this is going to come into that Ooh. game seven. If, if we need a game seven, it's going to come into that game seven, like, oh, really God. rare to go. And what's been interesting now is seven. how much of the time these teams have been using. There's so much strategy and counter strategy going back oh. and forth. Once again, FT Win was just moments away from taking a 3 0 lead, but a come from behind last second overtime victory and clam blitz by the GG boys. It a 3 0 run just, by them. Uh, They're now just one game away. Well, the teams have seen these maps ahead of time. I think they're There's taking the time to catch their uh, breath. I think uh, it's not without merit as we start up. Sound game louder six. than Here me or am I louder than the. What we're watching GG here. Boys of Japan in the purple, one game away. The volume sound the game okay, the audio. FT win in the green. They're looking to push this thing to a game. Uh oh, seven. here we go. We see in here. Ashley, as we see both teams kind of fighting. The audio is okay yeah, or not. Yeah, you're going to want to get a couple of picks before you pick up that Rainmaker. You can see Shaq. Okay, here we go, okay. That's the. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh snap. Yeah, nice. doesn't quite work out. Nice trade right there. Uh oh. Great support. And we talked about trying to get the early lead and. Not able to do anything with the Rainmaker there right now, Nine. And oh, you know, God. The GG boys, they have the player advantage on the map. The fact that Shaq was only able to get one of those two, I think, was huge. And again, saving the player and music. forcing Ice to head back to school. My God. He's sitting there ready to punish his big ZK off the side. I don't know if they know he's here. He might be able to slow this down. I know, let's see who wins. We're going to get a chance for a push right here. Oh, GG boys, gosh. we talked about that early lead, how important it is for them. They're not on the board quite yet, oh. but here they go. They finally are able into the oh, game. No. To the half of MT win. Uh, so GG boys, that first early lead. Now we might see more of that defense here, nine. Well, 30, 67, you're gonna see a lot of stuff gosh. right in that area. You see that door right there, and you see the fact that there is not much room. That is the key moment. The fact that Shaq was able to oh get boy. all three means that uh, any push that was started oh, is gone and completely gone. We're going to see Ice try to do the same thing on the other side. Big opportunity to take the lead for FT win here. You want to take away that defensive opportunity oh for the GG boys. Oh. Yo, trying to get some pressure and chase out Etna. Etna trying to avoid uh -oh. the flash. Oh, oh snap. And already the lead is taken oh. by FT win. And you mentioned that is the type of order you're trying to get into. And actually oh. FT win doing what they want to do. Get early lead. Dynamon sitting here waiting. <laughs>
waiting. He's lurking. He's lurking around the corner. <laughs> that hallway, I mean, that is a choke point of all oh, choke snap. points. So it's a very difficult get past there, especially with oh, snap. that inkjet. He is so, so accurate. What the? Oh, God. Three on the field right now. GG boys, but they are down to FT win 59-67. They can't rely on uh -oh. playing defense with those range weapons. Oh. Now, picked off in mid-air. What? Huge thing for the Dude. That's the gamble at this level. Splash out. Oh, snap. To be. And I love the fact that they immediately opt to move Looks like they could still win this. Activity. They know that someone is going to be waiting in this area. They're trying we'll to get see. there preemptively. And to be able to get off his special. Oh, snap. The fact that his special is there, though, might be big for the defense. <laughs> MT win. Looking oh, for God. one more game to force a game set for now. Oh. Four to three on the map right now, and the DG boys are looking to steal the lead. Oh. But once again, that stingray by Ice has been the saving break for FT win, Ashley. I mean, Ice is going to be well. there waiting for that corridor. I mean, that's where you hold <laughs> that special core. As soon as they get to that door, <laughs> it's time. Now, Amici, though, doing the exact same oh. thing. Oh, 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 oh. Now, Amici oh. providing the stingray to the oh. able to mow down FT win like man. a Saturday morning launch. 3-2 on the map for a moment here, but now it's 4-4. Come on, push it, push it. Come on. Come on, F2 win. Dude, get in there. Everybody's in this group right now, Nine. Oh, and kill getting oh. stuck there. I don't know if it'll come back to fight them because Tim oh. won't buy himself. Oh, that will be the end of that push. But again, to be able to get it to 30, that starts to get into the danger zone of a 90 seconds Dude, left. what the heck? Time. 2D trying to go through the back door, however, gets splatted, and that's a difficult spot for the Rainmaker to land. You're on that zone. You're empty when you gotta dig it out of there. And if you're the GG boy, you have a minute and a half of defense left, but here goes Ike by himself. Oh, God, whoa. Support, at least you have the the Rainmaker. Rainmaker. Oh, snap. Not gonna survive that onslaught of first Ashley. Yeah. Boys, all they've got to do is hold yeah. down whole base at this point. They do, they and are. Young Michi already has his stick right ready. Oh my so God, look at that. Like he's going to go ahead and do that. Juice. One minute left. The yep. GG boys up 30 to 59. Oh, they God. have the Rainmaker Inkstorm coming out. 10 to miss. Oh, 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 this is it. Empty win down the floor. Oh, two of the map. Oh, Huge swing right here, Nine. It was. That Stingray got a pick, and then Etima came and got a second one. This means they're going to control uh -oh. the middle going in to this oh, final man. push. They it's might 20 like seconds left. This, this looks like it's over. They just want to milk the clock. That's such a good point. Yeah, 20 done, I know, right? FT win getting the splat. It's 2-2 and some Stingray support from Ice. You're gonna have time for about one more push here, Nine. FT win, trying to keep their turn. Oh, host in the game, Dan. Thanks for hosting the game. From yet another championship. It is, and again, yep, they're gonna try to the run, let this reset in Dynamo. That was an auto host. He can to just milk more time. <sighs> he used that special really oh, early, stop. and even got the pick. Taiji's gonna grab it. He knows he's going down there, but they're keeping the Rainmaker there. Twelve seconds left. Three one on the field. GG boy. They can spell victory. Dude. They want to be repeat That's champions. It. They this is it. Empty oh, win trying to turn things around. It's over. Oh. The GG boys get it done. And how about oh. that? There is 0-3 in oh, the face. The defending champion wow. rise from the ashes Japan. like a penis. What the and hell, go 4-0 in a row. Oh, and the GG boys of Japan. Wow. Look at him sitting there smiling and shaking the trick of his water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Dude, that was crazy. That defense. Their defense was airtight. They had airtight defense there. My God. How crazy was this? FT win when they were down 2-1 in the semifinals. They win four straight matches to take a 2-0 lead in the finals. The Holy cow, they got the trophy. My win. god, that's it. They are in the middle. They oh, are it's finally over. Give it up for the GG boys oh. here. Splatoon 2 World Championship 2019 winners. And just the result from this team. They are now back to back champions. Good. Good. Still champion. What the heck? Squid. What the hey man? Japan is still champion. I mean, what an wow. absolute effort by every single one of those players. I I couldn't possibly even pick that it up because I feel like that was a true team effort. Uh, although, no man, that would be true. <laughs> well, it's so difficult at this level nine, and I think you said it better than anybody.
anybody else. This was one of the most balanced championships that we would ever have. You saw a best of five go to five games between Team USA and Team Europe. And then finally you go to game six with the GG boys as they are music. victorious. And they are your Splatoon 2 World that Championship music. 2019 winners. Here My to honor and celebrate God. our champions here. <laughs> Put your hands together for the man himself. Lay it together. Splatoon <laughs> 2. Mr. Nogami! Oh, that good. It's for you to respect him. So as Mr. Nogami passes yep. up the medals to our defending champions, we do want to give a round like, of applause uh, to all of our still teams still here, of course, Lime Soda from Australia, New Zealand, Alliance Rogue from Man. Europe, and how about the fight that SQ put up from North America, in the Smash Tourney, we may get a... You the next... Oh! Yeah, next to character, I know, right? I thought about that, actually. Mr. Nogami for some comments. Is the stream louder than me or am I louder than the stream? That's what I've been wondering the whole time. Congratulations to the GG boys on their second win in a row. Yep. New character, I know. Last Flatoon Tourney, we had the reveal of the so Octo Spansom. Right, yeah. Stage, but I'm happy to be I remember that. Congratulations. あの、日本チームは、あの、会場の皆さんも本当に盛り上げていただいてありがとうございます。And and there's something I would like to share with you. Uh-oh. Oh, what's this? What's So we'd previously announced that Splatfest would be supported for two years from Splatoon 2's launch. What? Next yeah. month on July 21st, Splatoon 2 marks its second anniversary. And to coincide with that, oh. we'd like to hold the last, Splatfest. the biggest and baddest Splatfest of them all. Mm. Please take a look what? at this video. The last Splatfest. What? Fortnite 2? I don't even know to answer that question. Look at all those flat fists. Yeah. Man. Huh. What the heck? Chaos. Shit. What the? Order. Okay. Yeah. My god. What the heck is this? You're like, no. What the heck? Ah! Oh, man. No. Final. Yeah. No, man. Yeah, final fest. You're like, no, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> final fest. Chaos, there's an order. So the oh. theme for this final Splatfest is yep. which world would you Chaos choose? Versus Chaos order, final Splatfest. Chaos versus Order. This final Splatfest will not only feature a new Shifty Station stage, but oh, the Shifty Stations from all previous Splatfests will also be and we'll also be distributing oh, some unique new gear for this platform. This event will take place over the course of 72 hours from the 18th of July to the 21st. Oh. 
最終決戦スプラトカリプスにぜひ参戦してください。Oh、my God. So I ask you all, what sort of a world would you wish for the Inklings and their friends? Make sure not to miss out on this final Splatfest Splatocalypse. Chaos Water. Chaos Water? ファイナルフェス終了後の7月末頃に更新データバージョン 5.0 を配信してプライベートマッチで使用できるルールに縄張りバトルフェスを追加します。And last but not least, once the final Splatfest comes to a close, in late July we'll be releasing the version 5.0 update that will add the Turf War Splatfest to the modes you can choose in private battle. In this mode, players will be able to battle out Turf War matches on all 24 Shifty Station stages, including the new stage released for the final Splatfest. You'll be also be able to, navigate,、uh, to play the nighttime version of these 23 currently available regular stages in this mode.、Oh, man. So get together with your friends and host some private、uh, Splatfests of your very own. My God. As we've mentioned previously, this represents the last of our regular Splatfest events、yeah. and new content updates. But this will not spell the end of Splatoon 2's online service. We hope you'll give it your all in the final Splatfest and continue to enjoy Splatoon 2.、Mm. Alright. I'd like to stream that along with you.、Yeah. So let's、Link. please cheer on our winner for today. I might. I probably、GG、will、Boys. since the last one. I don't know, maybe, again, maybe a close stream of playing that. that <laughs> that we we'll see. Maybe. Yeah, the final Splatfest. Man, I, what a great championship I know,、right? series. I mean, that's the type of series、yeah. you always want to see, especially in Splatoon. These are two great teams. You My God, this tournament. I think anytime you have a tournament, it's almost six hours in the stream. That the game has、oh, so much、man. room to grow and continue to surprise us. Shout out to all of our teams. Thank you once again. You want order? Well. Two order, not chaos. We have the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate <laughs> World Championship 2019. Three v three, fish hell in the key, bringing you that action. We'll see you here shortly. Yeah, I, that's what I want to see. Smash Brothers World Championship. So. Look at that trophy.